Happy Holy Day, Moors, and welcome to House of Reawakening Minds. House of Reawakening Minds exists to provide for exploration and practice of spirituality in an enlightened community dedicated to honoring the myriad of sacred pathways to the universal creator. We are a holistic center for spiritual grounding, free thought, self-discovery, and more science, an awakening experience for all ages. Tonight, we are pleased to present our national grand chief, Taj Tariq Bey, as he presents the who, what, where, when, why of money. Let's receive him. So, I would uh, like to open up by making some statements in relationship to fiat and to money, uh, recognizing that most people have limited and very little knowledge of either in actuality. However, there's also um, a pressing problem in that when most people make reference to money, there's an assumption on their part of having money when in fact, at large, the people have been disallowed to have money due to the operations of the Spanish Inquisition and high, uh, the hybrid European colonial operations, particularly initiated in the Western Hemisphere and then expanded into other parts of Africa. And this is with the knowledge that North, Central and South America are Africa. Uh, this includes um, the renaming of lands, organic lands, the tagging or branding of peoples, Aboriginal peoples to disconnect them from the land and the administrative operations in order to maintain such hegemony operations of the Spanish Inquisition, etc. cetera. Um, therefore, in the operations of um, pilfery and theft and exploitation via hybrid European colonial operations on the planet, it was necessary to distort not only uh, linguistic forms and to hide uh, the original meanings of words and things vital to the people in culture it was important for the hybrid Europeans to create a platform by which that theft could be maintained and administered with limited uh, uh, repercussions. And thus the subject of what money is, where, why, how, etc. So let's set the record straight on one thing period that people need to know is that trade on the planet, on Midgard Earth, has been at a basis of interchange with humans for millennia. So let's get that out of the way. Fundamental trade and sharing and reciprocal helps has always been the nature of Asiatic African culture um, and a recognition that we are people of the moon and sun. And so therefore, the culture of the people is rooted in cosmology, i.e. the heavens and the earth as uh, the common people would make reference. And so to uh, go straight to the point uh, without burdening you with um, a lot of details, the alchemical metal of the moon, which is the closest satellite to us, or people would call planet to us, the alchemical metal for the moon is silver. The alchemical metal for the sun is gold. The alchemical metal for Venus is copper. And so you will see in Asiatic African architecture, in their buildings, their major buildings particularly, 
And in uh, administrative buildings or governmental buildings, you would see the cupolos capped with gold and some with silver filigree and some with copper. That is reflective of Asiatic African culture always has been because the culture is based in cosmology, i.e. and the relationship that we have with the heavens and the earth, etc. Now the details of the culture, of course, many of you know who study Asiatic African culture is reflected in symbols um, in the architecture, in allegorical stories, in um, anthropomorphic stories presented to children, etc. But let's keep that in mind, the gold, the silver, and the copper. Now, as trade has always been a part of human social interchange, uh, as an example, if I had, um, say, some vegetable that was needed with, to my neighbor, and my neighbor has some special juice that she makes, which this is, <laughs> this is good too. And um, and I want some of this special juice she makes. I would trade my product for her product in fair and agreed exchange. Now, perhaps she may not um, be into my vegetables. She may not be into uh, my dandelion greens, as an example, because she has some. The trade in principle all over the planet would be, well, let's agree to a common trade in harmony with the moral and ethical principles of our forefathers, which is grounded in honor and integrity and key substance for substance. That's key to African culture, to Asiatic African culture, to the principles of trade, substance for substance, and in the principle of contract and treaty, substance for substance. So therefore, if there's a trade and you have no what you would call equitable product that is desired to be trade, we would trade by agreed weights and measures, decibel principles of gold or silver, etc., by weights and measures, etc., in trade as it would be accepted by other humans around the planet. This has always been the rule. Therefore, in harmony with nature, inclusive of the fact that in the construction of the body, there's gold also and silver elements and copper that's also in the construction of the body that's used by women to build these temples that we call a soul of man or Solomon's temple. That's these things here, these vessels. Uh, as another example of silver, as an example, actually bacteria cannot live on silver, just in case you didn't know that. Um, th this is also why um, in the ancient world, um, as an example, if someone was burned uh, by fire by some circumstance, uh, that we would grind silver up and put it in a salve with aloe or other plant herbs and put that on the skin to stop the skin or the body from getting infected because the silver would not allow bacteria to grow. Um, so the nature of money uh, has multiple purposes in Asiatic African culture. So that must be understood. It's, it's not only its cosmological basis, it is also its health basis. Uh, these are things that are not talked about when they're talking about money. Let's go again and go into some of the cosmology of the nature of money and the gold, silver, and copper. And we'll talk about 
the fact that the moon governs the rhythms of the tides, as an example, on uh, the movement of the fish, the different fish species in the waters, um, the um, ebbing and flow of the tides, uh, the ebbing and flow of the blood in humans and in life forms, um, the dew that comes up out of the earth and feeds the plant life as the, the sun goes down and the moon comes out, the sun by day and the moon by night. These are natural operations of nature uh, in harmony with Asiatic African culture. Now with the moon or Luna, you will see that with the ecology of the plant life on the planet, etc., um, it is key to the growth of plants, growth of trees, um, logically, and trees give off oxygen and they take in carbon monoxide. So we breathe out carbon monoxide and we take in oxygen. The plant life breathes in oxygen, pardon me, uh, carbon monoxide and gives us oxygen. There's a balance. And so there's ecological balance as well as the, the plants feeding us. And so you have economy and ecology related to the moon with the flow of the water and the currents of the seas, the currents of the oceans. And so the operations of the moon in relationship to life on the earth is called moon economy. And from this you get also moon E or money. Now, when they refer to the ancient goddess uh, uh, Muneta, it is all is really an, um, a cosmological um, story, anthropomorph anthropomorphic story, actually related to the moon, etc. So keep that in mind um, that that's the nature, and also keep in mind also that before the po uh, Napoleonic Wars, that your popes or Roma was all Asiatic Africans. So you got to recognize that much of the history has been twisted by the hybrid Europeans taking credit for parts of history that doesn't actually belong to them in order to support the operations of the Spanish Inquisition against the Moors, etc. cetera. Um, these things I want you to write down and I want you to um, do some research and study these things because they're all related um, because people often think when they're thinking of, of money, uh, they're thinking of the private commercial paper distributed by the Jesuit order through the circle church and the chancery of the, um, the board of directors for the Federal Reserve uh, operations of Illuminati, Skull and Bones, et cetera, operatives. Um, however, that is not money that is actually a script for bookkeeping purposes only that belong to the members of the Circle Church and the Chancery, which are best known as the, the um, British Accredited Registry. And these are crown members that operate uh, and they control the judicial platforms in what is loosely referred to as all Western countries. And in particular, North America, uh, you would might, you would look at, um, this includes Can uh, Canaan land, or what you call Canada, 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 it's us. Um, all of it comes under the chancery operations of the Queen of England through their Trinity operations of the Inquisition etc. This is where as the members of the Roman Curia, i.e. the members of the Bar Association uh, at North America, answer to the Barristers Accredited Registry on Fleet Street, England, they answer to the Queen and Queen answers to the Pope of Rome, the Bishopric of Rome, and that's what that Trinity star is where you see the um, 
triple stars that they display in Washington, D.C., and they refer to Washington, D.C. as a seat of 10 square miles set aside for the Roman goddess Columbia. So that's symbolic, but that uh, implies that the Romans um, have conquered the Moors and have taken over the fundamental principles of the ethical principles laid down via the Constitution for the United States, thus subverting their obligations to all the treaties, etc., which would include the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, Gantt Treaty, the Jay Treaty, etc., the Act of Algiers, etc., all of the principles of the sovereigns which set up the foundation for the hybrid Europeans to operate at Morocco, North America, and this is again why um, fundamental civics is not taught to the people and why the history is twisted. So people look at the operations of the money as the capacity to buy and sell, having not uh, the true knowledge that the private commercial paper that has been issued to the people as money are actually licensed vouchers for entries and bookkeeping into sister QV trusts that are put together and that are controlled under what is known as the globe the global world trust and regulated by the um members of the roman curia who answer up to the popes of rome etc has nothing to do with gold silver or copper which is the money that must be understood. That must be understood. Um, the agreed law of the money is the gold, silver, and copper. For those of you who are studying, uh, keep this in mind because I don't want to get into the details, but I'll give you reference. Um, the Constitution for the United States come from the Honor Odyssey Confederation. The Honor Odyssey Confederation of Moors is referred to in rewritten and reconstructed history books as Iqua Indians. I repeat, the Constitution for the United States is not hybrid European origin. It is Muslim origin. It comes from Honor Odyssey Confederation, commonly rewritten in Western history books as Iaqua Indians. That is not hybrid European law. It is Muslim fatwa. That's a fact. And it is a known fact. And it is traced back to Sufi principles, etc. Sufi, which you all know is Sabian. It's all the same thing. This is one of the reasons why um, with all the hype, uh, hype going on and some of the problems that they've been having with world trade and the Pope Francis had made references to his employee known as Barack H. Obama, uh, who was CEO of the United States Trading Corporation company operating on our land, where he exposed with, with the motu proprio the operations of their corporate activity and he also called both religious leaders and political leaders from around the world, and they did what is known as the motu proprio, with a promise that they would cease operations of what is well known as the doctrine of discovery, which again has its origin in the Spanish Inquisition against the Moors, which again has its origin in the fall of Granada, or Al Andalus in North Africa, the Northern Peninsula of, of Africa on the east side, now known as Europe, and um, referenced as Al-Andalusia. And Al-Andalus, it's also Al-Andalus, Al-Andalusia. So when you study Asiatic African culture, remember that the feminine masculine principle is conjoined in the nature of all of the cultural societies. 
This is where, like, for instance, uh, as an example, when you hear the word Elohim, uh, the people are, are trained to think that that word means God singular, when actually it's uh, Chaldean, and it actually means um, mother, father. All right, so it is a duality principle that's also in Asiatic African culture that must be understood to study these things and also to understand the operations of money. Again, the moon governs uh, the womb of woman, keep this in mind, and the womb of woman cycles by the moon. And so the woman cycles 13 cycles a year, uh, and we call the year simply the cycle of the sun, which is 12 cycles to the same cycle of the moon. So the moon has 13 cycles, the sun has 12 cycles within the same cyclical period. Uh, this is another reason uh, uh, in, on, in relationship to the hybrid Europeans, known as Paleoliths also, uh, in their inquisition operations against the Moors or original peoples, etc., why they, uh, in architecture, will not acknowledge the 13th floor to buildings, to, to building structures. Because with the inquisition operations and the neutralization, deliberate neutralization, all the operations of the moon, they are countering the culture of the original people. So the moon economy or the money, etc., must be put in darkness. Whereas we are the people of the moon and sun, they are the people of darkness. We are the people of what you might be called the dominant genetic force. They are the people of the recessive genetic force. And so by nature, on many fronts, they oppose everything that is life. Uh, so their political operations will reflect that. As an example, whereas Africans, um, the culture is built around the moon and the sun, the hybrid Europeans culture is built around blocking the sun. Uh, this is why you'll see in modern era times where uh, once they came into power, they would put chemicals in the air and different metals in the air to create sickness. And it's commonly called in these days chemtrails. So whereas we are people of the light, they are people of the dark. Um, we're still dealing with money now and so people's concepts uh, of the money is only with the principle of the presentment of trade. I give you this and you give me that as an example. Let me show you as an example. We will have coinage. We will have coinage. Or this is also called Yakum Thala. This is where dollar comes from, Yakum Thala. This is a gold coin. This particular coin is a $50 gold coin. This is money. This is a silver dollar. This is 999 proof copper. This is Moorish money. To hide the Moorish culture, they will write the Moorish culture as Spanish. And so as they adopted our principles in constitutional principle from the Honor Odyssey Confederation, etc., it is commanded in Act 1 or Article 1, Section 10 of the Constitution for the United States in harmony with Moorish law that no state may coin anything but gold or silver coined for payment in debt. That is the supreme law of the land of them operating by treaty on our land at North America. Of course, that was breached. You can go into the Organic Act of Congress of 1871 and the overthrow of Abraham Lincoln and the assassination of, of Abraham Lincoln. But you must look beyond that because it was actually a continuation of the Spanish Inquisition given another name for their intent was to subvert their obligations to the treaties 
that set up the operations of the hybrid Europeans doing trade with Morocco and with all the conventions that superseded their operations here that brought about the establishment of the original organic trade doing business at Morocco known uh, as United States Trading Company, et cetera. And of course, with the overthrow of the Republic government, the intention was to continue the stealing the gold and the silver that was initiated under the Spanish Inquisition. To hide it, they make references to the um, issues of, as an example, Woodrow Wilson in 1913. Many of you scholars already know the operations of Woodrow Wilson at Jekyll Island of Georgia Republic, uh, whereas with uh, members of the Circle Church and Chancery, known as the Bar Association, men, uh, members of Skull and Bones, members of um, the um, Rothschild dynasty and the Rockefeller dynasty, they continue doing such things that would breach and overthrow the treaties and the constitution in order for them to continue the Spanish Inquisition operations of the expatures, et cetera, without the masses being aware that this is really what was going on. And so they wouldn't change names of acts that they would uh, uh, legislate under a color of law. Because keep in mind that all operations, federal, state, and municipal, after February the 2nd of 1871 are de facto. Keep that in mind. You must put things in perspective at all times to comprehend what's actually going on. And then you look at the Coinage Act as an example. Um, the Coinage Act of 1792. So let's, let's present this so that you can take this into consideration in your analysis of money, because we're dealing with what, when, where, why, and how. It'll become apparent to you when you do some more research. And so we're dealing with the Coinage Act of 1792. Now, at Philadelphia, keep in mind, which is Phoenician, Philadelphia is Phoenician. Therefore, that it was the Capitolium of operations for them doing business with us. This is also why they have that statue of, of Winona, where they, who they assassinated at the base of the mound where they have the art building. And they also have Tammany down there at the front of Market Street near the, near the uh, waterway of the Delaware, et cetera, um, uh, with, with Aquila on his shoulder. And then they have him um, in a statue that uh, gives uh, the appearance of the um, hybrid um, Moors, et cetera, or the uh, um, Semnites, et cetera, uh, which is really what you will call it, to give an image of what they told you that Indians look like here um, in the movies, etc. However, and that's uh, Winona's husband. And keep in mind when they murdered Winona up there in Link what is now called Lincoln's Drive, Lincoln Drive, and it's not Lincoln Drive accidentally because remember they murdered Lincoln. And that's why they named that that drive after Abraham Lincoln because he was the last lawful president under operating the republic thereafter all government operations were de were and are de facto keep that in mind it's not a defense of lincoln in any manner it's just simply the fact so that must be understood so 1902 john d rockefeller who was controlling the uh, the railroad tracks etc here on our land start taking over our trade routes etc um John D. Rockefeller and Frederick T. Gates, and you recognize that name Gates, and the people who are trying to poison you now don't think that this stuff is not, not connected because it absolutely is. Wow. Um, set up the General Education Board with the determined operations coming from the Spanish Inquisition to dumb down the Aboriginal people, take control of them and mold them uh, in such manner that they would be docile. And that's since 1902, et cetera. So when you put that together, you can also see why people are not aware of these things. Now, uh, let's um, give you a little bit 
uh, concerning the uh, Coinage Act as an example. Now, the Coinage Act, Section 19 as an example, for the United States operation, of the Coinage Act, because remember, they did the first mint here in Philadelphia, at Philadelphia, um, which also near the street, Shakamaksim. And this is um, near the area that we call Shakamaksim. And um, the first building they set up for the minting was at uh, 7th and Filbert Street. For those of you who are familiar with areas in at Philadelphia, that's a few streets down, um, right on 6th Street, between 6th and Market and 7th, a few streets down from the Greyhound Building, etc., that you're familiar with, etc. Now, this is the Coinage Act, uh, Section 19. Be it further enacted, persons who shall be employed at the said mint for the purpose of profit or gain or otherwise with a fraudulent intent shall embezzle any of the metals which shall any time be committed to their charge. Every such offers, officer or person who shall commit any or either of said officers shall be deemed guilty of felony and shall suffer death. And so the death penalty is written into the law. Of course, that's coming from honor, honesty principles, Muslim fatwa law because they adopted the Constitution from Fatwa, et cetera. And so the death penalty. Now, most of you are familiar with what you know today as the IRS. And also, you'll see many of the scholars here uh, and many of the sociologists here often write articles and do research on the lucrative operations of the penal system that's operating at North America and the predominant um, numbers of both Asiatic men and women being warehoused predominantly in these penal systems, having no idea that these are actually debtors prisons of the expertures chamber of the inquisition operations that's operative today. They just don't tell you that. So let's talk about expertures. <laughs> now, you know when you all uh, think you're getting paid and the members of the Roman Curia issue you what they call a check, C-H-E-C-K, and you think you've been paid, and then you go trade that check as a stock option for private commercial paper that that our Federal Reserve notes that belong to members of the Roman Curia, to the board of directors of the Federal Reserve, who answer to the board of directors uh, known as Congress and senators, who answer to the members of the bar of barristers accredited registry known as the Bar Association, who answers to the Queen of England, who answers to the bishopric of the Popes of Rome, maintaining Spanish Inquisition operations against the Moors to steal our gold and silver, which was the mission of their colonial operations in the first place. So now we're talking still. What, where, when, why, and how? Money. So these people get a check from the checkers, exchequer's office. So let's talk about the exchequer. So the exchequer, now go into your law book for you all. The exchequer, you're going to uh, find the exchequer, write this down, write this down so before I forget. Exchequer, that's E-X-C-H-E-Q-U-E-R. I repeat. E X C H E Q U E R, exchequer. Then I want you to research this exchequer bills. 
exchequer bills. Then I want you to research this. Exchequer division. I repeat, exchequer division. And I want you to put them all together and put them under the category of the U.S. Treasury Department. See how it's hidden? So when you're dealing with the U.S. Treasury Department, you're dealing with the exchequer's bills and the exchequer's division under the exchequer. So now let's talk about a little bit of these prisons where Aboriginal people are packed uh, in, in proportionate numbers in a jurisdiction that they don't belong in. Keep this in mind. So you have foreign, foreign, alien, hybrid European descendants who are exercising exchequer powers in violation of treaty and in violation of constitution and seizing upon the Aboriginal people of the land and packing them in POW camps and calling them private prisons which are really exchequer's chambers. So now let's talk about exchequer chambers. Henry Campbell Black's Law Dictionary, Ancient and Modern Jurisprudence, the fourth edition, which we have here now, so mark this down so you can do your research. Page 857, page 857, Hell, H-E-L-L. Hell is the name formally given to a place under the exchequer chamber, quote unquote, where the king's debtors were confined. The hell chamber's contemporary and descended agency operations now known uh, from the descendant agency operations, which is now known as the massive US penal system and the IRS, tithe tax, commercial mercenary forces. That's what's operating. And so when you're looking at the penal system and the judiciary controlled by the Bar Association, et cetera, in violation of the nobility clause of that constitution, keep this in mind, these are members of the British accredited registry who are holding offices called senators and congressmen in violation to the, of the constitution for the United States. And they're actually working to enforce the Exeter's chamber operations. That's why the Asiatics and Africans are packing the prisons because they're the people of the land and the estate belongs to them. And under the Spanish Inquisition, they're claiming more estates, declaring the people civil little more to dead in the eyes of law. And to hide that, they present what you commonly experience talking about them talking about race problems, which was set up by Carlos Linneo's 1735 and instituted by the administrators and administrative clerks of the United States Corporation company in order to steal the estates of the Aboriginal people and convert them to the United States Corporation company operatives under the Spanish Inquisition. They're stealing your gold and your silver money and giving you private debt script in place of it called Federal Reserve Notes, which is not money then they issue operations of the transfers on it based on the moon's operations that governs the waters and they call it currency and electricity that that operates the body and they call it currency and currency is not money and private commercial paper is not money but they have trained these people under the John D. Rockefeller and Frederick T. Gates Foundation operations of the General Education Board 
and convince the people that they're being paid with checks from the executors chamber and that they're getting refunded money. They've been lied to for generations and they're trained to that. I just showed you what the money is. However, in relationship to the priesthood, that very priesthood, the Bishop of Rome, we have some literature that comes from Moorish culture. And one of the favorite chapters in this book, which is referred to as the Mysteries of the Silent Brotherhood of the East, chapter eight, I'd like to share this with you so you can kind of get the nature of what is said in the Bible and Dr. Nail of being uh, having a doctorate, a couple of doctorates actually in theology, can probably pull up a few things from the Septuaginta and the Bible in reference to the the Sadducees, etc. These fake lawyers, which that's who they are today, uh, and the priesthood, and so the people don't recognize that this all has relationship to what you think the money is. And what it and what it actually is not. Chapter eight, the council of the seven of the world. In every age since time began, but seven sages lived. At first of every age, these sages meet to note the course of nations, peoples, tribes, and tongues to note how far toward justice and love the race has gone, to formulate the code of law, religious postulates and plans of rule best suited to the coming age. An age had passed and lo, another age had come. The sages must convene. Now Alexandria was the center of the world's best thought and here in Philo's home, the sages met. From China came Mengste. From India, Vidyapati came. From Persia, Caspar came. And from Assyria, Asbina came. From Greece, Apollo came. Metheno was the Egyptian sage. And Philo was the chief of Hebrew thought. The time was due. The council met and set in silence seven days. And Menster said, Menster rose and said, the wheel of time has turned once more. The race is on a higher plane of thought. The garments of our fathers wore that our fathers wore have given out. The cherubim have woven a celestial cloth, have placed it in our hands, and we must make for men new garbs. The sons of men are looking up for greater light. No longer do they care for gods hewn of wood. They seek for Allah not made with hands. They see the beams of the coming days and yet comprehend them not. The time is ripe, and we must fashion well these garments for the race. And let us make for men new garbs of justice, mercy, and love, that they may hide their nakedness when shines the light of coming days. And Vidyapati said, our priests have all gone mad. They saw a demon in the wilds and at him cast their lamps. And they are broken up, and not a gleam of light has any priest for men. The night is dark. The heart of India calls for light. The priesthood cannot be reformed. It is already dead. Its greatest needs are graves and funeral chants. The new age calls for liberty, the kind that makes each man a priest enables him to go alone and lay his offerings on the shrine of Allah. And Casper said, 
In Persia, people walk in fear. They do the good for fear to do the wrong. The devil is the greatest power in our land. And though a myth, he dandles on his knees, both youth and age. Our land is dark and evil prospers in the dark. Fear rides on every passing breeze and lurks in every form of life. The fear of evil is a myth, is an illusion and a snare, but it will live until some mighty power shall come to raise the ethers to the plane of light. When this shall come to pass, the Magian land will glory in the light. The soul of Persia calls for light. Contemplate that because that is absolutely relative to the priesthood and the bishopric exercising plenary powers on the land to this very day under a color of law, pretending to be government and pretending to be men of high spiritual learning when actually they are cannibals, pedophiles, criminals, thieves, courtesans, and all of the rest. And they come as angels of the light, but they're angels of the dark. And they have given fiat to the people in place of their stolen gold, the people stolen gold and silver and copper, i.e. the money. And they have trained the people under John D. Rockefeller and Frederick T. Gates operations of the Spanish Inquisition, trained them to think they were getting paid and that they were paying, quote unquote, bills. Remember, do the research on executor's bills and the Treasury Department, executor's division, Treasury Department, executor, Treasury Department, and then look again at the operations of um, Woodrow Wilson and the conversion of Aboriginal titles and um, allodial titles into mortgages and deeds at Morocco, at North America, at Jekyll Island. 19 and 13, pay attention to the date and understand the operations was a continuation of stealing our gold and silver coins and bullion, i.e. the money and further instituting operations of the Jesuit order and skull and bones and the Illuminati members to give private commercial debt script and issue it upon the people under the guise of money. And they called US dollar bills, which is an oxymoron because the dollar comes from Yakum dollar, which means gold coin and bill is debt. It's an oxymoron, but they know that the people can't read because John, Frederick T. Gates and John D. Rockefeller made sure of that. And now Frederick T. Gates descendant known as Bill Gates is now putting nanoviruses in the veins of people around the world with the Spanish Inquisition continuing to this very day to steal your money and your health at the same time. Now, I want you to pay attention to the Coinage Act. Remember what I told you. The Constitution for the United States, adopted from Muslim law, fatwa, Article 1, Section 10, the Executive Chamber and the Executive, the Spanish Inquisition, which is the Roman Catholic Churches and Bishopric Inquisition against the Moors, Africans, Asiatics. And this operation is usually presented in Western controlled history books as 
the Christian wars against the Muslims. That's how they listed, but that's actually what's going on. They've been stealing your gold and silver, which is the money then, and they continue to this very day, which is the money now that's taken from you and you've been given debt script and to transfer to continue the misrepresentation they will refer to the artificial constructed debt of the spanish inquisition as quote unquote the national debt which does not exist they're converting their theft operations as debt onto the people and this is why that they're using every excuse they can to pack their private commercial mercenary POW camps called U.S. prison judicial system run by the members of the Circle Church and Chancery from Fleet Street, England, to continue the Spanish Inquisition of stealing the gold and silver of the Moors and then imprisoning the people of uh, uh, um, infecting them with viruses from tuberculosis to syphilis to AIDS to corona to uh, Ebola and a whole bunch of other mutated viruses that they mutated at Fort Detrick, Maryland, and also in Georgia, because that's where they did the first game with the um, chancery members of Jekyll Island uh, called the um, Center of Disease Control. Yes, well, it's war control. Are uh, there any questions? Let me say, also, I want you to look up fiat. Now, fiat, as an example, for those, because most of the people will look at this operation as fiat. But let's look at this. Let's go to Henry, uh, um, Henry Campbell Black's Law Dictionary of Ancient ancient and modern jurisprudence fiat fiat is a latin term which essentially means let it be done now the english practice of in short order is a warrant of a judge or a magistrate directing some act to be done an authority issuing from some competent source for the doing of some legal act. Keep in mind, a legal act is not necessarily a lawful act. So fiat is one of also the proceedings in English bankruptcy practices. Being a power signed by the Lord Chancellor addressed to the court of bankruptcy authorizing the petitioning creditor to prosecute prosecute his campaign or complaint before it etc and joint fiat in english law is fiat in bankruptcy issued against two or more trading partners so as you can see the fiat operations under the Spanish Inquisition that lives to this day and the operations of their fiat has essentially imploded upon itself on itself. And now the nations of the earth uh, circumstantially by force and by wars have had, I think, in the area of at least 50 to 55 percent of all of their economic holdings of their treasuries in what is known as U.S. Treasury bonds, i.e., that has been their reserve of uh, currency, which is not money, and now find themselves stripped and broke. And so the world's credit systems and trade windows have frozen up. That's what's going on now. Uh, and you thought you had money? Well, you didn't and you don't. Get over it. Now, what you going to do about it? Now, are you going to help civilization get back in order or are you going to keep playing this game? And meanwhile, they're trying to kill you off anyway. Because remember, they built all these sister Q trusts on these people through your marriage certificates and birth certificates that you thought were holy rolling instruments of gods. You've been played. 
we've been played. Let's get some work done to help fix this stuff. Any questions? And at the root of this conversation, you can see where we talked about before decolonization. You don't think about decolonization, you're not trying to fix anything. And if you get caught up in that stupid and foul and distorted race argument, you, you're being played again. Because the whole deal was to steal your money and then to kill you off. Yes, 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 yes. I, I just, you know, we were talking about this earlier today and um, with regard to all of the major so-called corporations that people think are independent corporations mm -hmm. that exist that are shutting down. Now, mm -hmm. the COVID, the virus is being blamed for many, many cover. Country, um, companies going under, but it's the truth be told, many of these companies were going under anyway because exactly. of the trade windows. And had, had frozen up. Frozen up and they weren't able to. We up. Right. Now let's look at this. Look, look how it operates here in North America. Uh, let's go back to say uh, during the time of say like um, the CEO uh, Richard Nixon, as an example, um, head of the corporation. Uh, about that time, keep in mind, uh, uh, and people are familiar uh, at North America. Um, as you travel, you see a lot of old warehouses that are empty and others of them being claimed by developers and made into apartments and condos. You got to understand what you've been looking at. It used to be, whereas businesses, uh, when they were accepted and they didn't, the people around the planet were still under the uh, influence or what you might say, the oppression, the mercenary oppression of U.S. corporation operations, which is why they kept what you would call military bases in, in 189 countries, average more, etc., in order to force the uh, peoples around the world to accept the U.S. corporate private commercial paper of the Jesuit order of the Federal Reserve, which is a debt note so that they could steal their gold. This has much to do with the Bush family and their operations at uh, the Empire State when they dropped those buildings and said that Muslims did it uh, to steal Germany's gold at that particular time. And of course, that created a little bit of problems between uh, Germany and the United States corporation operators because they're allies, et cetera, uh, when they told their agents to, uh, to get lost when they came to check on their gold. And uh, so they created a whole false story around that, which they uh, often do. They'll do things and say somebody else did it, and they've been getting away with it. Um, not unlike what they did in Boston, uh, when the um, when the British subjects got upset with the crown and they threw that tea over in the harbor at uh, in Boston and what they did, they put charcoal on their face and then said that the um, that the Renapi Moors did it, etc. They'll call it Renapis, they'll call us uh, so Lenin Lenape. It's not Lena Lenape, it's Renapi Moors. Um, and say that we did it. And then they called us engines. Say the engines threw the tea overboard. Well, that pattern they've been using ever since around the world. As an example, they would go in the name of another country or they'll set up an operation in another country from one of their military bases, do something to another country while robbing another country and then blame another country, then start a war, then fund both sides and then pick up the spoils and they've been doing this. Well, the nations have finally, I don't think it's, they didn't catch on, they knew it was going on anyway. But most of your um, leaders in most of these countries were puppets anyway, and members of the Roman Curia. And this is a lot of what you see going on today in the world. 
that that the public is not exactly up on yet and a lot of things that are going on in the background that you'll get news of probably at the beginning of the years when you find out that it's a lot of uh, political leaders and politicians and uh, entertainers and Hollywood stars and a lot of people that you're used to, you're going to find out that are not on this planet anymore. Um, the details of which will not be generally told to you right now, but that will be told to you later. And this is predicated on the fact that the nations of the earth are no longer buying U.S. Treasury bonds, which we've been telling you all for the last seven years or more. Get your fiat, fiat, not money. They're voucher notes. Keep that in mind. They're voucher notes. They're licensed voucher notes on commercial paper, private. That's what the Federal Reserve notes are. That's fiat. All right. It's not money. They can adjust it at will with the stroke of a pen or pushing a button on a computer from 100 grand. I'll tell you what's happening with a lot of people right now. And they're not telling the people because it's really kind of upsetting with some people. Um, now that I'm saying this, you'll probably be getting more people admitting it. Um, a lot of people who think they have a lot of money per uh, as millions in their mind, dollars, will find uh, many of their accounts overnight going to zero. Remember I said this now. I've told you this actually a couple of years ago, but I'm saying it again now so that you can remember that I said this to you here at the House of Reawakening Minds. Because now that I'm talking, we know that um, some of the Jesuit operators always look at what we're doing, what we're saying, and also try to counter it. However, the reality of it is uh, that the nations won't buy their treasury bonds so they can't keep on covering this up and keep talking about that we're saying BS because now the trading windows of the world have frozen just like we said they would. The nations of the earth won't trade with the U.S. corporation operatives just like we said they would. And the reason why a lot of your malls are closing just like we said they would, and we've been telling you for years, is because they cannot stock. And that is this, keep in mind, as we mentioned the warehouse thing, they would stock, they would uh, um, trade treasury bonds. This is unlike what you trade every day in, in, your, in our foolishness, thinking that we have money, we trade Federal Reserve notes, thinking that we're buying and owning things and they're really debt notes. And then they would hold it against you on that Cusick number, which is a routing number of one of the 12 orders of the Franciscan Brotherhood known as 12 uh, IRS regencies routing numbers, which is a red number on the Social Security card that was set up by Franklin Delano Roosevelt, 1933, House Joint Resolution 192, 73rd Congress in session, June the 5th. 1933, and they pledged all of the people's birth certificates to back their U.S. corporation bond system. That's your bondage, not a chain. That's your bondage. And that's your debt. That ain't your debt. They've been telling us your debt. And then they've been selling these bonds around the world to nations. And now their economies are collapsing. So uh, put it this way. They're not coming out and telling you the truth, but they're being forced to move in that direction. And you'll see po political activities that that will reveal that to you if you recognize what you're looking at. And a bunch of people playing games when the, in actuality, what you have is the order of the Ku Klux Klan known as um, Kyklos, also known as the Democratic Party, operatively battling Donald J. Trump, who is a member of the Black Sun, and um, he's a Knights Templar, so you got to do the history on that too. And so they're still fighting over your Moorish estate. Therefore, what you got, what you got going on in the background, is actually a civil war that they're not admitting to publicly. Donald J. Trump is a figurehead who's speaking for a lot of generals and admirals uh, who are, are forsaken 
from the U.S. Corporation of um, Military Operations over the years who have been meeting secretly, factually, uh, since the assassination of John Kennedy to counter the operations of the Roman um, Curia members, uh, many and most who are per persons called congressmen and senators and stuff, mm -hmm. um, members of the Roman Curia, um, and board of directors for the chancery um, uh, of the Circle Church in the chancery and the Exeter's Chamber of England answering to the Pope of Rome. This is as motive as to why Pope Francis wrote that letter to Barack H. Obama in uh, 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 doing a heliacal rising uh, of Sirius from behind the sun, which is an Egyptian holiday known as July the 4th. It ain't got a damn thing to do with no Declaration of Independence. And that's the truth. And told about the four different um, corporate entities of the United States, which you will see in different forms of spelling in that civil orders. And for those of you who are not familiar, go on, just go, talk to your phone, because you, I know you got smartphones. Most of us are dumb, but we do have smartphones. <laughs> Talk to your smartphone to teach you and say, oh, um, Pope Francis civil orders to Barack H. Obama, July the 4th, Iliac rising of, of, of Sirius, Egyptian holiday, not some European hybrid holiday, that's your daggone holiday, because um, that's why I picked it. And they promised uh, to stop the doctrine of discovery and they weren't going to do this crap no more, all that kind of stuff, right? Come on, get out my stuff. Oh, he likes it too. Anyway, yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is good stuff. Um, Here's a question. They yeah, told people asked the question. They wanted to know what can we do to fix this. A couple people asked. Them. What can we uh, do to, to keep it? You know, because it's really not a, a lightweight answer. But to keep it simple for most people, it's called rendering under Caesar what is Caesar's. Mean that basically we're going to have to, to dig deep within ourselves, you know, because we're good for making spiritual claims. Mm -hmm. if, if anybody makes spiritual claims, it's these Africans in North America because they like, you know, we, we know Jesus and stuff and we know Allah and stuff and we know Yahweh and stuff and we know Confucius and we know Buddha and we know metaphysics. We're talking all this stuff now. You got to prove it. So you're going to have to dig deep within yourself in honor and start doing honorable things. And according to the Coptic script, later come becoming known as Septuaginta, later becoming known as your Bible, it says, turn your hearts back to your ancient mothers and fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. And the son of righteousness arises with healing in his wings. And that son is spelled S-U-N. Why? Because we are the people of the son. And you better turn back to the principles of your ancient mothers and fathers and stop faking, you know, because we've been doing this fake spirituality. Hallelujah to you for generations. Everybody know those platforms are fraud. Stop playing games. Get real. Do some real hermetic studies. Get honorable. And then nature will start healing you. But what you must do, and that's all of us, me included, is start rejecting Rome, start rejecting their institutions, start putting our energy in our own institutions, start enforcing in, in the civil arena all the treaties that supersede that constitution, that put that constitution in place, etc., and stand on those principles honorably because the world is looking to you for a cure, because you are the descendants of the civilizers of the earth, even though we've become quite uncivilized here in the North. Let's be real about it. Can I can I share something that um, I wrote um, uh, that might kind of addresses what you're saying to an extent? When people are asking what we're doing, it's just as a, it's not so simplistic, yeah. but I'm gonna say, okay, so I wrote this, I said a few years ago, I read that when a certain quote unquote new world explorer and his men reached an island, they were amazed that the indigenous inhabitants ignored them as if they weren't even there. 
they later learned that the reason this happened was due to the inhabitants of the island's collective decision that these strange invaders didn't fit into their to the scope of their reality. Therefore, to them, they did not exist. Wouldn't it be great if we learned to do the same in unfavorable situations like what the world is currently experiencing by deeming them outside the realm of our reality? Instead of getting frustrated and all worked up over things that can do nothing but escalate further, we, the collective, simply ignore it, uh, go about our business, and not allow whatever it is to become part of our reality, because that's what we've done. Um, by the way, an individual can do the same thing as a collective, which is why some people are seemingly unfazed by what may be setting others in a frenzy. And so from a standpoint of we give too much attention to the things that they've done and we, we become distracted away from the things that we, we historically have done or as a as a culture, that things that work, which would say that does not compute. When you know when they saw, you know, an, a, a conquistador or whatever mm -hmm. they were calling themselves, that doesn't compute. And instead of them running and cowering, they were like, "We don't even see you. We're going about." Now you got to look. You got to look at now. You got to. That's why you got to study the culture. Right. You got to remember, and this is. You can look at this for those of you who want to take this a little further to understand, remember that the hybrid European is also part of the hybridization of albinos who were outcasts from Africa. And then, because the consideration, you gotta look at this, look at this metaphysically. Right. African culture, often the ab albinos were cast out because they were considered not to have a soul because they had no melanin. And the other interesting thing is uh, there was a, t a, a high level, for whatever the reason is, this can be looked into, but I'm just telling you, because now we were looking at karmic response. Right. If this relationship, this love-hate relationship, you got to look back to this. Um, the tendency for them to do cannibalism also was one of the reasons the outcast. Now, to the degree of them having or not having a soul, which was a determinant factor, plays in today. Now, the interesting thing is, is that they have manifested in many ways that to be true. Oh, yeah. Spirit could uh, now, awesome. now, so we will kind of look at ancient African Asiatic culture and look at their spirituality and they're making that determination. The Dracula story. Yes, it's, it was real. Right. It was real. You know, now this is a part of African culture that's not often talked about. It's known, but they don't talk about it. And that, and, and now uh, in future, because we got to look at this. We got to look at the, the, the hermetic law of principle, cause and effect, retribution, justice, etc. Even some of the motivations who people who don't know the history as why the honor honesty taught the hybrids um, governmental structure and gave them a constitution. Even when you deal with Chief Justice Ben Bay, Mu Ali, who's written in history as Ben Banneker. Now, many people with great seal degrees got that history. That's documented in at Washington, D.C. Uh, uh, that literature is only got, well, we made it available, but that literature was only available to people through certificate. And if you didn't have certificate, you didn't get that information. But that's not unknown to people. It's mostly unknown to our people. So you, if you want to look at the metaphysics of this, and the relationship that the hybrid Europeans have. Then you also look at Dolly Madison, Daughters of the American Revolution, and the fundamental structure of civics and civic books that is used around the world as a pattern that they got from the Moors. Dolly Madison, little little woman, wouldn't even never go out, out, out of, of, of the house without her turban on. And these, most of the Daughters of the American Revolution are hybrid European descendants 
who were in their history record of descendants of women who were in Moorish harems. That's a fact. And their building is all marble. Even the banisters are marble at Washington, D.C. See, so when you even when you look at the circle of operations of Kyklos and the Daughters of the American Revolution teaching their sons and then them taking over, you got to look at the karmic response in that. And a lot of people who study in African history don't go into that. They go into it in secret societies, but they'll codify it. But I'm telling you directly that real history and it is known. So you can look at that as well as the outcast, if you get the point. And then what, what the hybrid Europeans refer to as trading places. And then what about the biblical accounts of the lepers? That's the whole, again, even when you're talking about Tag Day in Europe, amongst Africans, it's called Tag Day. Amongst Europeans, it's called St. Patrick's Day. Uh, Tag Day is where the Europeans, and so when you go into European history and you see them, same thing they've been doing here, killing off the Aboriginal people and running them out of North Africa, i.e. Europe. And so people, when they look at European history today, the first thing comes in their mind is the Paleolith stock. They don't look at the Mores, the Doves, and the Picts, all Moors who are the real Aboriginal people of Europe, which is North Africa Peninsula, now called Europe, because they even changed the maps. So when you, and this is back to, the discomfort that people have, truthfully, when you really do research and really get into African history and find out that we are the people of the planet, not people of just South Asia that we call Africa today. And that when you talk in Africa, you're talking about the planet, all the continent, and it's really two major continents. It's America on this side and Asia on that side. And it's all Africa. And that's the truth. Now, among the hybrid Europeans, they call it the great Masonic secret. And then they have multiple organizations to claim our state. And so they say that they are the illuminated ones. In other words, they have the eye of Horus or the activation of the pine cone, the pineal gland, that they are the anointed ones. They have anointed their heads with oil, i.e., this is the foundation where they're claiming to be the Jew or they've stolen your jewels. But Jew essentially does not exist in African culture. As a matter of fact, it's a, it's a myth. You see, that's the whole point. And that's what you have actually going on now. And so the foundation, everything that they produce is a fraud. The religions are fundamentally a fraud. The politics are fundamentally a fraud. The money is fundamentally a fraud. Collectively, it is collective fiat. People keep thinking the Federal Reserve note when you're talking fiat. It is the entire platform, the entire political, social, engineering construct platform including nations distinguished from kingdoms is fiat and this is again as we were talking earlier mm -hmm. i said people probably was expecting me to talk about whether there's money or not and whether the quality of the gold and silver coins is issued their concept of fiat is limited not accidentally it's limited deliberately for the entire platform of organized government on planet Midgard Earth in the modern era is fiat. Yeah. So everything is fake. Now, including the God game. De facto. The, it's de facto and fiat. Now, because people are waking up, they're admitting to the Coinage Act issues and limiting their argument there when it is the entire social political platforms and agencies fiat an authoritative degree decree 
sanction or order, a royal fiat, a fixed form of words containing the word fiat by which a person in authority gives sanction or authorization, an arbitrary decree or pronouncement, especially by a person or group of persons having absolute authority to enforce it. The king ruled by fiat. Now you understand the church bullers. Now you understand Pope Francis' letter to Barack H. Obama. Then now you understand secession after Barack H. Obama with John o. J. Trump. United States Corporation Company is expired. It's expired. It's done. Do you understand? And now the coronavirus, keep in mind, corona also means crown. Right. It also means the sun. So you got to look at all, even the choice of words um, is a cover up for a major transformation that's taking place on the planet. So, again, and uh, as I was saying earlier, people's view of fiat is limited to the Coinage Act violation, the breaching of treaties and constitution, fatwa, and the trading with Federal Reserve notes set up by Illuminati members and Skull and Bone members of Jekyll Island in 1913 under Woodrow Wilson. However, uh, the admissions to those operations, etc., of the fake, of uh, the fake um, system as money is not it. It is simply a support system for the greater operations of the Spanish Inquisition, which never ended, but actually continues to this day under other names. Now, also. I want to go into so that people can look at uh, the issue of the Sister QB trust that they're operating, et cetera, um, to do their trade and, and that they, they also create their bonds. And, and so we're going to look at status and estate. And this is not this is not new to most of you, but to put this in context to understand the operations of the bookkeeping um, purpose of the Federal Reserve note against the voucher system of entering and exit through the routing systems of the Federal Reserve and uh, through the IRS Internal Revenue Services for the Executrix Chamber, which is Department of Treasury, etc., to do trade in the bond systems for the world, etc. So we're going to deal with status and then estate. Uh, to give you a perspective of actually what's going on. Status. <clears throat> the Henry Campbell Black's Law Dictionary, Ancient and Modern Jurisprudence, page 4th edition, page 1580. Status. Status is the standing, the state, or the condition. It is the legal relation of the individual to the rest of the community. Status involves the rights, the duties, the capacities, and the incapacities which determine a person to a given class. Status is a legal, personal relationship, not temporary in its nature, nor terminable at the mere will of the parties with which third persons and the state are concerned. And while the term status implies relation, it is not a mere relation. For status also means estate because it signifies the condition or circumstances in which one stands with regard to his property. Now, this is one of the reasons why, um, particularly scholars uh, um, among ourselves, avoid telling the truth about the bondage system. They'll tell the people 
the reconstruction uh, of versions of Moors being uh, chained together with chains and saying that that was their bondage and that that ended in uh, 1865 when in actuality, the bondage was actually the instrumentality, the bottomry instruments that were created by the hybrid Europeans and sold around the world as treasury bonds, et cetera, to other nations. And then they would use that to actually fund their private corporation. And then by virtue of, of, of using the wealth of the people against the people, they were able to establish organizations and agencies to further do contracts and to subvert the people, to subvert their obligations to treaties and constitutions, and then imprison the people and then begin to systematically vaccinate them, inject poisons in them, or poison the food, and gradually create sicknesses and kill the people off so they would not have to honor the treaties or the constitution, and at the same time continue the operations of the Spanish Inquisition, stealing the gold, the silver, and all the precious metals and jewels, and also at the same time uh, steal and control through the patent office, all intellectual property and profit off the people and including all uh, intellectual property, as an example, actors, singers, etc. They would have insurance policies on them and they would be controlled by hybrid Europeans claiming to be Jews and are not Jews. And then they would uh, kill these people off and then collect massive, massive, extremely massive insurance policies. So most people in the music industry and, and the acting industry um, uh, that are Asiatic descent are worth, um, some say, more dead than they are alive to the hybrid Europeans under the Spanish Inquisition so that they can continue to steal their estates, etc. And most of you who already know, also know that the um, Social Security number set up by um, um, Franklin Delano Roosevelt in on 33, uh, that even after they kill these people off and steal their intellectual property, et cetera, that that Social Security number is still used, et cetera, to go enter and exit the Sister QV trust system, even though the people are physically dead, that those Social Security numbers are still being used by members of the Roman Curia around the world through their corporate operations administered by these people you've been calling congressmen and senators, men and women who are actually members of the Roman Curia, i.e. they are fiat. And the instrumentality that they have presented is fiat. And their legislation is fiat. And the instruments for the private commercial paper or licensed vouchers to enter and exit the bookkeeping systems of the Roman Curia operations, i.e. under the Exquitors Chamber, i.e. Department of Treasury, etc., via their mercenary agency known as the Inquisition Revenue Services, known as the IRS, is fiat. Fiat, fiat. Um, <clears throat> Now I'm going to go into estate and keep these things in mind so that you can take it further and do a little more research. The major th the, the major purpose of us hitting on certain these uh, uh, certain points is so that um, your concepts of looking at these things can be corrected. That you do it, not because we say so, but because after start starting to do research and expanding in other areas rel relative to the cosmological nature of true earth culture, the neutralization of the cosmological culture um, by hybrid Europeans under the Spanish Inquisition, i.e. stealing your gold and silver. It's not just that, they're stealing the culture and hiding it from you and cutting you off from it. So it's not just the coinage that must be understood. It's stealing your estate. And now uh, this would be in Henry Cannell's 
Black's Law Dictionary, fourth edition, deluxe, ancient and modern jurisprudence, etc. Estate. Estate is the interest which anyone has in lands or in any other subject of property. An estate in lands, tenements, and hereditaments signify such interest as the tenant has therein. And so when you're looking at hereditaments, you're looking at both corporal and incorporal hereditaments. So you're looking at the culture, the truth of the culture, the origin of culture, customs and traditions, and keep in mind that principles of jurisprudence, law are derived in, in the nature of what is called the common law from those customs and traditions. Therefore, it is important that you be aware of the cosmological basis of the culture and the traditions and customs in order to comprehend the operations of jurisprudence, i.e. particularly positive law, uh, and also the uh, artificial construct of connotative linguistics, which has been used by members of the bar and members of um, the general board, uh, education board under John D. Rockefeller and Frederick T. Gates to dumb our people down so that they would not have a cognate comprehension of the concepts of organized government that has its origin in cosmology so that they could steal your estate, i.e. in your lands, etc. cetera. Um, and so that is fiat. And people, uh, again, they keep uh, are trained to keep thinking that they're talking about a piece of paper relative to the Federal Reserve note called the dollar bill, when actually that's a front and a cover up for the fiat, which is actually the declaratory authority, i.e. color of authority and the issuances of any legislation under de facto constructs pretending to be legitimate and pretending to be de jure law, that is fiat. And the private commercial paper that they have presented to the people i.e. this called Federal Reserve Notes is for bookkeeping purposes only for what you would call electrical currency energy output. Therefore, what this represents is life force energy. Keep this in mind. This represents bookkeeping entries for life force energy output calculated factually, just like a machine. And that's where the administration of um, they call accounting actually comes from. And this is again why you'll see um, uh, natural beings working and generating uh, what is told to them is monetary uh, accumulation. They think it means wealth. And yet at the same time, there's a whole industry that, that's layered on top of it Whereas the average being um, so-called educated um, cannot even count that they need an accountant to count all uh, the fiat output, input, debit, and expenditures because they can't even count. Why? Because all operations under the fiat system violates totally the fundamental logical principles of, of arithmetic. Which, and, and so you see average people doing a job, generating what they think is wealth, and they always end up being in debt. And it never dawns on them that they need an accountant because it's not based in rational math. It's based in fiat, i.e. birthright theft. Now that's the truth. The platforms and the systems of double bookkeeping and joint stock trust operations, which is operating on the land under the jurisdiction of the United States uh, Corporation Operatives, Courier Members, etc., cetera, uh, in your uh, federal, state, and local political jurisdictions, etc., all is fiat and does not harmonize with fundamental elementary math because it's not based on elemental fundamental math. It's based on theft. It is based on extortion. It is based on 
transferring of estates and therefore they need uh, bookkeeping systems that defy logic. And that creates another business model uh, for other uh, Roman members uh, to be given degrees to uh, keep books for the executor's chamber and the executor's bills and the executor division, which are collectively the U.S. Department of Treasury, which is simply the renaming of the executor's chamber. And those who do not meet the tithe tax systems of Rome under the Spanish Inquisition are jailed. Now, that's the truth. And also their wealth being confiscated. This is where the commercial mercenary operators uh, garnish people's um, uh, um, accounts that they think that are theirs that are not theirs. Uh, where they steal people's properties, where they steal and confiscate people's businesses, where they steal and confisc uh, confiscate people's uh, uh, finances that they think is money, et cetera, et cetera. They're, they're uh, licensed vouchers because that's what they actually are. Um, and that platform, and not just the instrumentality known as US dollar bills, is the fiat so when you're dealing with the federal um u.s federal government operations the u.s corporate states of operations your local municipal and township governing agency operations all of them are fiat all of them are de facto in order to administer and maintain the operations, the bookkeeping systems are done through Federal Reserve notes of the Jesuit order and members of the Circle Church and Chancery of the British Accredited Registry, etc. And that is also known as uh, the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve and their um, administrative um, Board of Directors are known as the Congress and the Center for the U.S., etc. And that's what's been going on. So when you're looking at fiat, don't just look at the instrument that people have been calling the dollar bill. You must look at the entire political platform from the governing administrative clerks and their offices um, the entire educational system under their jurisdiction, the entire banking system under their jurisdiction, the entire administrative government structures under the fake, the fake uh, base known as governors, um, and including all your administrators and contractors of uh, your municipal townships, and boroughs, etc., are all de facto. De facto is fiat. That must be understood. So do not limit your thoughts to the instrument that you call the Federal Reserve note when you're thinking fiat. That is a designed misdirection. That is a designed frame of thinking that has allowed this corruption to go on uh, to this day. And again, as uh, was mentioned earlier, what do we do? Uh, essentially, and we've done this before, and you can refer back to uh, some of the classes that we've given earlier called reversion of the state. Because basically you, you must make a claim and it must be in your proper person and make that claim publicly in order to neutralize the capacity of the members of the Roman Curia to comfortably and and uh, safely, as far as their uh, uh, economic trade is concerned, to trade the treasury bonds with other nation states and other entities around the planet Midgard in order to maintain their economic power structure. And back to point, the fact of the matter is, is that it has collapsed and the credit and the um, trade windows of the world have frozen up. That's what's going on now.
and the coronavirus and all this other stuff going on is a cover up for those operations, including the civil war that's going on that no one speaks about openly or publicly. That's a fact. Any other questions? Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, here we go. For, for the most part, the encouragement is to look at some of these things that we've uh, pointed out to you so you can have a comprehension on why some of these things we brought up to your attention because mainly it, uh, 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 and, and this is redundant is that people's concept of fiat is 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 so constricted and limited wrongly constricted and limited that we wanted to because it goes deeper than that even that we wanted to expand your minds in the nature of it because when you have a comprehension of what's going on your thoughts change and when your thoughts change you change and when you change the conditions change i.e the changes in you and that's the real truth and then when we have as we evolve into a collective change etc then of course the fraud cannot go on because in the um fictions uh and the fictitious entities that were constructed to maintain the spanish inquisition will by virtue of a lack of faith die because the fiat depends on faith but the faith must be blind, i.e., the, the faith must be in the dark. So the people must be in the dark in order for the fiat to live, and the fiat must live in order for them to continue to steal your birthright. You neutralize that, and it's a spiraling effect. That's what's going on. That's a fact. One, one of the things that, um, uh, we mentioned when we were talking earlier, we were talking about, you, you mentioned the fact that fiat or money as we know it is a biological weapon and i don't know if it, you, now this right. is this is the fact um in the rule in the divine rule or divine law of cause and effect you know uh like as an example you know how like um one of the favorite things that uh the jesuits have done and they do it with nations to today even with their vaccines one of their favorite things to do is the poison this is why they do the gym. This is why they poison the food. And this is also why they poison children through vaccines, etc. That's one of their favorite things to do. So the fiat operations is actually uh, poisoning uh, civilization. Uh, it creates stress and cr stress creates uh, hypertension, creates sickness. Then you couple that with uh, poison food and then you have a biological response effect. And so, which is what you would call a staged operations of biological attack done under the guise of economics. There you go. The other thing I asked you about had to do with whether or not um, there was the use of sigil magic. Mm -hmm. When you look at the sim symbology that's on mm -hmm. the dollar, were they using them just like, say, Nike uses the swoosh, well, which is part the of sigil, the, the sigil magic is. Uh, you can look at it two ways. Let's look at it like this. The sigil is really a signal, a symbol, symbols, symbols, yeah. symbols. All right. Look at it as look at the dark use of it as a psychic attack, and that would be more appropriate to what's happening, because a sigil, sigil magic does not necessarily mean uh, always a negative. Right. Because I use sigils. You know, um, because uh, sigil magic is African culture. It is African culture. Now, the, the issue with it is, has it been misrepresented? As in, let me give you a, a, a first, per, perfect example of sigil magic. You'll see um, the hybrid Europeans call um, uh, Asiatic women devil worshippers. As an example, you'll see, let's say Beyonce may wear a costume with horns, mm -hmm. right? And they'll say, look, that's Baphomet, that's the devil. What that really is, that is she's claiming to be uh, Isis, daughter of the moon, which is what our women is. That deals with fecundity, that deals with fertility. That has nothing to do with no devil whatsoever. But the, the hybrid European calls it the devil so that we don't, we attach to it. And then they use it secretly only to the dark side. That's the key. That must be understood. 
Well, just like when you see the goats, goats head that, that, or, or like you'll see, um, even to the day, you'll see in, um, in some parts of Khalifa's territory, even in Texas, you'll see them even still having cow horns. They put them on the car. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, that's the daughter of the woman. Yeah. They're, they're not representing the fact that they're cowboys. That's you. <laughs> okay. You know, but but in other words, you know, like our people say, the hybrid European, they'll say that, they'll say the white man, which means the sovereign. The sovereign made us hate ourselves. That's that's an example of it. You look at the average African, they'll see that. Look at that. Well, she's an animal worshiper and shit. <laughs> no, I'm saying that's the that's their that's our stuff. And then the European uses it. He gets us to abandon it, then he uses it, except that he uses it to the dark side. That's all. And you got to remember, look at the hybrid European. They're recessive. So a lot of their decisions will be recessive. They're not necessarily, you know, uh, uh, you know how, like we say, you've got to put all this together and kind of look at what were the ancient Chaldeans and Mesopotamians, et cetera, and Sabians, what were they really considering when they they did the outcast of the hybrids of those the Albions? Because they said basically this is true, this is researchable. They had no soul and they outcast them. Interesting thing, whatever the basis of their analysis and spiritual insight, the hybrid has proven it to be true as to why they did it. Now, as far as our cognizance is right now, as far as using the uh, psychic, psychic clairvoyance that was normal in African culture where they could look at them and see that they were soulless and outcast them, there's also a price to that because everything has cause and effect. And here now they come back to haunt us. You can also look at it this way. Let's look at it this way. For those who know um, Aunt Hagar's history in Central America and Hammurabi, right? Hammurabi Bay's Law, right? Um, and you look at the uh, the children of Israel, right? And that's really hybriding, you know. And the Hammurabi's Code of Law and the uh, hostilities that the children of Israel show. So look at the book of genetics and you look at uh, Rebecca, right? Then look at um, Isaac and then look at the plea of Isaac to the Most High in relationship to her womb and that she was barren. And then the Most High says, she will bear, but they will be two different manner of people, two different nations. How does that? That, when you look into African history, now one was Ruddy, Harry. Now Ruddy, Harry, now when you look in Germanic language, Germanic language of Central Africa, etc., coming from Sam Scritter. Roman means red man. Red, ready, ruddy, red skin. But how does that reconcile with the Yakubian that, experiment? Because now that's the point. What now you're starting to tie that history together. Then also why some Africans they didn't even tear them cities down. They didn't tear those complexes down. They let the jungles grow over them. And to this very day, do you see archaeologists going in Central Af Central Africa, i.e. Central Mexico, and doing archaeological studies on them ancient scientific complexes in Mexico that they let grow over? They'll talk about pyramids all over the place. They'll talk about uh, uh, Olmec, Stoneheads, etc. Nobody talks about ne Plato Negro. Plato Negro. That's the monkey plateaus where the experiments were done. I.e. Yaku. So that's Kushitis, where Kushitis, Israel, where you get Caucasian from, Kushitis, and they also call him the father of the devil. 
then you look at why is it when you look at the plateau, right? And even from some of the outskirts, and they've been hiding it. Some of it has been coming out recently, but they will, they have always hidden the clear glyphical evidence of interplanetary travel. Fact. Now, then you look at when you go into the congressional records, when you go into the you go into the history of Yaku in the congressional records. Um, and they talk about um, the hybriding, etc., and that he was also referred to sometimes as the father of the devil because it was not just the Negro Yavera Arebo Zygo implantations with the 12 uh, Moorish women scientists. It was um, also suspected that certain technology trades were done with off world beings and they used some of the women for incubators. And that's the origin of this cannibalistic hybrid European that is so uh, anti human because he's not human. So you're saying that they get more. I know more we're not, to we're not talking about money now, about. but I know, but they did it's more. still money. Well, Mooney 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 okay, so they did more um, experimentation than the twelve Moorish scientists, a female scientists. See, they talk about Yaku. They Yaku. don't talk about the twelve. The twelve women who were scientists who and the who, bouquet experiments. Well, who did the bouquet? Experiments? That's what that was about. Why would they? Why was that called a bouquet? Because we're different kinds of well, each of the constellations of this particular solar system and the body structures. So, in order to create all of the, yes, a, it's a, called the bouquet, an archetype or a phenotype. Of then each. you now now you're looking at what Charles Darwin was talking about, but he don't he keep talking about this missing link. The missing link is that information. It's not a skeleton. They'll never find a skeleton because it don't damn exist. It is the knowledge of the of the hybrid experiments in Yucatan. This is why when Hitler was running them hybrids out of Germany, who were not altogether human, who were killing Germany's economy, they said we're going back home to Patagonia. They even have a lot of plays in Europe about Patagonia. What's Patagonia? Argentina. The three students used to say yes. something about Patagonia. Yes, in once, there. You, once you let me say this. See, because we're getting, we're not off, but we're getting into knowledge that most people aren't exposed to. Mm -hmm. However, they have some inferences of it. Because we have to talk about these things, honestly, because we have to start solving this human condition on this planet, because civilization is collapsing. So I was told that, and or read something, that at one point when we had to take them, say, to Europa, um, the Caucasus Mountains, Caucasus Mountains to Europa. Patagonia, of, they took them to Patmos. Well, when we took them off, to, Tur off Turkey. When we took them to a place where the, the climate was more conducive to their land of angles, land of angles. That's but, where Anglican comes from. Right. So when we took them there, there were maybe extra terrestrial visitations that Thank came you. to them and said, look what they've done to you. That we will now give you, you got the deals that was made with Eisenhower in '54. Right, we will, it wasn't just past tense. It's it's even up to modern times. No one wants to talk about this because we've always interchanged with off-world beings. It's not new. It's not talked about to the public. But I was told, you know, or I read or heard that these off-world beings came to some of the. The They're exos. referred to as Anunnaki in general. Okay, so but the, that's just a term that means so from, from the, those from the who heaven, came, from the it's not came, the name of them. They came from the heaven. Multiple, it's what they did. Yeah, multiple came. species. Just like Hebrew is those who yeah, crossed over. Is what exactly. They did. It's no such thing. So yeah. when they came to them, they were saying, look, look what the St. Moors did to you. Thank you. Look how they rejected you. Look how they now put you over here on this God-forsaken place. Into Let us give you technology. We'll give you some knowledge and we'll give you the ability, the ability to overtake and overthrow them. Now, this is the problem that they're having. They didn't think that they would be sacrificed. Also. Exactly. 
This is why you see a lot of them starting to tell the truth about Moors, Masons, and aliens, aliens because it's really true. The, the true condition of the human condition on Midgard is not spoken of except in secret societies. And even then is given in sigil forms called allegories and stories. But when you're dealing with, now you understand also um, uh, Carlos Linnaeus with the phenotype structure operations of 1735 that it was adopted into the U.S. Census Bureau operations, and they made up this brand code system that didn't exist in the ancient world. This whole race argument didn't exist at all. It's a fraud. It is fiat. Is there human race and hybrid race? Now you understand why the sun seeks to kill the hybrid because it's not natural to this planet. It's not natural. Now you see why they're trying to block the sun? See why they're trying to block the sun? But also they're doing a lot of inter so-called racial. Uh, That's why they're doing it now, they're trying to survive. Why? Even in the fake royal family, why they got a mixed hybrid to marry in because they will die out. Then after, same thing they did with Matuaka, then after they get the seed, they're going to kill her. They always do. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth, you know, we're getting, and guess what? We're still talking money. And we're still talking fiat. The, the, the issue is that people don't recognize that it's connected. Their concepts are limited. Do you understand what I'm saying? When I, this thing is layered. You know how, the, you know how it is uh, uh, people who really don't understand an onion? They talk about the skin and they talk about the onion. They have no concept of layers. When you peel it, the that fiat is layers. It's the lies. It's the it is the platform, the entire platform, not the instrumentality for transfer of voucher. As a matter of fact, that's the weakest part of it. And yet that's the distraction. And it has worked quite well, hasn't it? However, people are discovering that uh, things aren't what they seem on multiple levels. It appears that when you think in terms of fiat, a lot of us yep, over here think about the U.S. Federal Reserve note. But you got the pound. It's all around British, the world. You got the British pound. You got the it's all Australia. around the world. Everybody who's got this paper. Now you're looking at the connection. Right. The world so, connection is not just here. Right. Now you understand. That's the why they can world. shut the world down. Because that, that was the purpose. That was the mission. It's bigger than people think it is. Yeah. And it, guess what? Well, now that you brought it up, um, a little bit of the off-world stuff is getting ready to start coming out because we're talking about Because every time we talk, we go a little deeper. We'll go a little deeper. We'll go a little deeper. And when we do, it pulls the roaches out. Well, when we talk about off-world, could we put potentially be also talking about um, inner world or agatha? Inner and off-world. You, inner you and talk off. about terrestrial, inter-terrestrial, and extraterrestrial. Because there's it's a, a trinity of actions. Terrestrial, inter-terrestrial, or extraterrestrial. And USO. And un well, that's un it. underwater. Extraterrestrial. That's inter-terrestrial. Okay. Underground, underwater. There's terrestrial surface. Interterrestrial, underground. Octoterrestrial, underwater. Water. Extraterrestrial, off circuit. Off circuit. Okay. So planet inter, inter spear, travel, and folding, cycle folding. Because really, the traveling is not altogether done in the concepts that people look at. Like, for instance, like as an example, when I talked to you earlier today. And you told me that you were at a store 
um, and that the storm was coming was, was on and you had to come from point A to point B. Right. Now, because the people in general have not been told the truth about us, truthfully, they they it's hard for them to understand point A to point B doesn't always operate like that. It, it often operates like this, according to push and pull of the universe. Look, what I'm doing. Bending. Hold on. Okay. Warping. Hold on. And at that point, they always use the calculation, then they make the crossover. That's how they travel from planet to planet without losing years. And it's always been that way. And that's the truth. Now, they want to get into that because people can. I don't get into that mainly because my interest, my missionary interest is this, to deal with the immediate sickness. Meaning it's sort of like I prefer, and that's just me. It's not everybody's mission. Right. It's just me. I prefer to seek in what is said, the kingdom of heaven, and let the other things come along rather than focus on all those little things that will scatter things. that will scatter the people when they need to deal with what's before them. You well, and, and I get it because too many things will have people confused. They're scattered, they don't have the basis. They don't look at this. Well, look at what you know. Look at what you know from your, your experience, truthfully. And and this is just point when I read your, a lot of your poetry, to be honest with you, you know, just being a poet myself, I see the multi-level thought process that takes place at one time, which is why you can flow so easily. Uh, I'm not saying what you respect of it or not. I'm not saying or even trying to analyze you recognizing that even yourself. I recognize it. Mm -hmm. um, because I think multi-level. So it was like, my sister in, in in a way so but i don't make it an issue but i learned from childhood as i grew up that 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 i thought was normal is not necessarily as common amongst these beings here as i thought it was mm -hmm. that most of them can't think multi-level they can't see like this we see like this um, I thought that's the way things are. I had to learn through my own suffering and trying to be a part as I grew up, recognizing that I was an oddball, <laughs> to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, not different, but different. And then learning as I grew older that that's not abnormal, is that we've been tampered with. Sure. Then trying to reconcile that while growing up, while relating, while trying to do family, while trying to do the picket fencing type thing and clashing because in another way I was too advanced. Mm -hmm. um, not admitting it either and hiding it too. Do you understand? Hell yeah. And clashing while doing it. And then being forced against myself to be alone to develop. Do you do you understand? I do. I mean, or uh, not liking it necessarily, but accepting the inevitable because the cycle time. Because the cycle time, as an example, of your mother makes you to do certain things. Um, our concepts, as we've been taught is to come here to live, to do, go get a job type thing. And the truth of the matter is all that's artificial. Uh, if you really discover who you are and what's really up, none of that, you don't invest in it because you already know it's artificial. Problem of it is, is relating to people around you mm -hmm. because you are automatically an outcast. But you are suffering the same needs, wants, and desires of the human form, and it, it clashes with you because that's not who you are. It is, but it's not who you are. 
Um, I think you're helping some people because they're, they're no, I'm just telling no, you that. No, no, but the reason why I say that because oftentimes many people feel like they're um, alone in a crowd, so to speak, and that no one relates to them. But when you when you hear somebody like you know Branchy Tasha Bay saying, "Listen, I not only." Have I dealt? I have I dealt with? It, I deal with it, but I've learned how to um, fit in, so to speak, yes. in order to be able, in order not to, if you, in a sense, to look like an eyeball. That's why I'm a people person, yet I'm alone. Right, right, right. So because I had to be to to develop to accept me. And this, there's a scripture, and I tell some. I mm -hmm. mentioned it to mm -hmm. somebody about myself, but I'm thinking it's more you than me and paul allegedly says i become all things to all people that i might win some yeah and so you find you have the gift of being able to relate to so many people at so many levels yet, because you can see right but yet when you're in your private alone time it is the it's just me it's the just it's just me there because you have so many layers to deal with that Absolutely. you've neglected right and then you recognize that your cycle is fixed as an example what do i really know about me honestly N not all will i tell i'll I'm, say this i know you i are. agreed to leave at 37. i was supposed to leave at 37. and when you say leave uh, let, 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 the let, physical okay leave okay exit exit i already earthquake. was prepared for it it's like normal right things came up in my life where I came to accept that I've been negle negligent. In other words, I owed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I knew it. I owed. So I'm paying. Mm -hmm. So um, then I was being selfish because I wanted to do what I wanted to do because I knew I had the capacity to. Mm -hmm. When you understand divine law, you can skirt it. When you understand how things really work, however you use that, that's up to you. It's just that I didn't have a dark heart. Do you understand what I'm saying right. to you? Um, but I understand a lot more than I ever talk about. Um, my position has been and really is honestly knowing that i have a limited cycle um to do as much as i can to help others without burdening them you know, and without putting my personal weaknesses or my personal corruptions my personal shortcomings on them but also understanding, knowing, it's sort of like when you see, this is what it is. You can, this is the the good, the bad, and the in-between, however you want to look at it. This is the honest thing about it. And it's not comfortable for a lot of people, and I already know that. And I know, did you know what I'm talking about? Because I saw it in you. You know, we never talked about this, but I saw it in you. You can go amongst people, and if they get near you, you can read everything about them. So there's no need to even go. The other problem is this. When you relate to people, you can tell the beginning, the modification, and the ending, which I already knew about even my marriage. And I never talked about it, but I knew from day one. My disappointment was that I wanted to make things be what I wanted them to be which is a selfish thing to do. Do you understand? In other words, you wanted to modify the assignment or the agreement yes, or the yes, contract. Yes, 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 yes. And then sit around and feel sorry for yourself when you already knew better. I mean, I'm, I'm being honest with you. I'm being honest with you. Um, bearing yourself <laughs> a little bit. No, I'm being I'm, I'm know, absolutely honest with you. You know, so on another level, the unfairness about it is this. This is the also the unfairness about it. Um, knowing and seeing on multiple levels, not starting things that you know that you're not going to finish, and therefore not taking up people's 
life energy in projection because of satisfying a moment when that's not what you're here for. Good advice. Good advice. I hope. I hope. No, I'm just telling you. Well, I'm, I'm still, talking about. I know what you're that's saying. That's how I got my ass kicked. But it's still good advice. Well, know? I'm telling you, that's how I got but my we, ass kicked. But society, you know, yeah. and I know we, we, you gonna say it's still money, but we. It is. Okay, so it's still money, y'all. But Moon, and Moon Moony. <laughs> look at this. Hold on. Let's 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 look like it is. Here I am as a son of God. God is woman. Mm -hmm. Came out the womb and then spend the rest of my life trying to get back in, <laughs> which is what we do. Right. Because that's why you made us. Right. Learn to bring that under control. That's called the great belief. This is symbolized by Adam putting the great belief on the, the three mm -hmm. lower chakras. Okay. That's all that. That is sigil. Right. That's just anthropomorphic. But knowing that's what it means. Knowing that most people don't know what it means. Mm -hmm. Also knowing that that's the principle of when a son accepts his mother has made him and accept why she sent you this time and not getting caught up in the Samson and Delilah game, which we always damn do. As soon as you do, and then she cuts your hair, then you're mad and pissed off and stuff. So why be pissed off when you know? When you don't know or you don't see, you can play the game. But when you know and you see and you play the game, you got no one to blame but you because you knew better. That's me. So you're playing catch up? Yes, I am, to be honest with you. Yeah. Which is the only reason I stuck around? Truthfully, to be honest with you. Well, we're glad you stuck. We're glad you stayed, and we hope you you'll stay a long, long, long time. I understand that that's fiat. Okay. All of it is fiat. The money is not it. The fiat is for bookkeeping purposes for the energy output for the vampires who suck your blood. It's abstract blood. It is your energy. The fiat. Is a cover. Okay. Well, now, Money is not what people think it is. Now, now let's let's switch up a little bit since you yeah. said that. Let's talk about the fact how the system has created the system, system. didn't do anything. The well, priesthood. The, well, okay. The no, priesthood. I'm, no, the reason I'm saying that you correct me okay. because no, the reason I'm saying that because that's a spell cast. Well, what, and what we have to do. Keep this in mind. System, inanimate. Right, it doesn't do anything on itself. It does nothing. That's like you said, get mad the at the bullet and not the hand that pulled the trigger of the gun. Nothing. Okay. The dark priesthood who creates the entity and puts it in, it's called what? Corpse, the dead. Corporation. Here it is, corporation constructed on paper like this, and every opening like this, and you're looking at me, and I go, boom, and then you're arguing with the corpse, and here I stand as innocent. This is called the system. They've been arguing the system. That's part of the art of war, of the dark priesthood. That is fiat, and I declared the fiat, and you bought into it. Now I rob you and I stand before you as innocent. Now you understand Pope innocent? Pope innocent. Yeah. Now you understand Inquisition? Yeah. Okay, let me rephrase that. This is what I was going to say. Yeah, well, go ahead. All right. So the dark priesthood yeah. has created various scenarios throughout one our life. Now you understand why I read that? Yes. It's part of the money system. So these things have been created, um, so called entertainment, so called distractions, so called jobs. All of these various things have been created to, and guess what? All of those figures, at least to be safe, to say what I'm saying, at least 90% of them have been eating your children all the time. Are we talking literal now? Literally, literally.
literally, literally. When the priesthood does this, this is the body of caressed, and this is the blood. Communion. Do you know how much they're telling you the truth of what they're doing in the excretors chambers for centuries? See, from the karmic perspective, they have told you the truth while they have deceived you and therefore removed the karmic response, uh, response and given you an opportunity to consent. We take communion. We mimic it. Exactly. And you call it holy, oh, yeah. holy, yeah. goody, goody, Jesus stuff. And they're cannibals. They are real vampires, not fake vampires. And they've been drinking your children's blood for life and then selling the carcass. Oh, for some of you who are listening now, Dealing with the moon economy, because remember the moon economy, when you're thinking money, think the womb first. The output of the womb, because the great resource is human. Human is the great resource. The monetary system of the gold, the silver, and the copper is the alchemical metal that are used in the construction of Solomon's temple. Through the womb of woman. The economy of life and growth on the planet, of the expiration and inhalation of carbon monoxide and oxygen that gives life, is money. The metals that represent these spheres is the money agreed in harmony with cosmological nature outside of that it is not money trick get you to call all instrumentality outside of that the money you just accepted the debt because now you agreed to the lie you are now responsible and that's what they've been doing to claim that you are the debtors now that's the truth it's not an analysis of an idea that's the fact, which is why they will not recognize a 13th floor because the issue is to disconnect woman from the equation who is really God and the Stargate. That's the fact, and we are sons of God. Don't get it twisted. Symbolic, you'll see Isis and Horus mother and son and that study is called my son study or masonry that's also the truth get over it and learn what's really going on on this planet because if you're going to fix anything what we got to stop doing is picking cherry picking the great things that were done and then ignoring the negatives that were done and keep this other thing in mind another reason why the hybrid will tell you in story form the different things of truth, although they do it allegorical, mm -hmm. is to remove the kar karmic response because he right. can't control that. I.e. Wizard of Oz. That's what that's about. That's telling you bluntly. They're telling you bluntly. That's why they changed the silver slippers, moon, echo, ruby. to ruby, red, symbolizing the blood or the, the star. Or the, or the cherry tree that Georgie took, that cut down. What do you think this all that's going on now, what implications does this have for, like my son, for instance, my youngest son and my, mm -hmm. my his son, my grandson. My grandson is is like a top notch and his, for his age, mm -hmm. above his age, basketball, football, he did a little stuff, he did, he did baseball. And I think he even tried a little football or what they call soccer. Mm -hmm. However, you have all these people, my son and Carly included, mm -hmm. who have groomed their children, not just boys, but young ladies too, mm -hmm. for some level of sports because that has been put up as a way to a attain. A gateway out and, of and, economic and, depression. Right, that and the, okay, not only that, then you got those who are aspiring to get somewhere 
in the music industry. Those who are aspiring to get somewhere in Hollywood in the I'll say it in one word. Wait a minute. Two words. Be sure you say it. Yeah. My question is, we see you and I and others at C see, see that, that those those accoutrements that have been given are are now being snatched back and, and exactly. Dismantled. So what happens to the 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 millions of young people that have their hopes on getting somewhere. All right, based I'll on tell these you two things, things that were the not even real thing, from the get go. The first thing I'll say for the beginning of your your treatise. Okay. Roman Colosseum. I that's the first. That's yeah. The loose number two. <laughs> number two. Make a pact with the devil, and he never honors the treaty. You don't make a deal with the devil because he always sacrifices you in the end and takes all your shit. I he is called Job. That's why he gives you a job. Job and Job are not accidentally, they're not accidentally spelt the same. They are the okay. same. Long O, short O. Long on the promise and short on the reward. Don't make it back with the devil. Now, those people keep on saying, well, what do we do? Honor your mothers and your fathers. Turn your hearts back to the principles of your ancient mothers and fathers. Stop faking that you've been doing it. Oh, I picked up my Bible there and shit. And then I put up my Quran and shit. And then I picked up the waspy and the Vedas. And I'm all deep in. No, we've been phony. Let's get real. We've been phony. They've taken all the things in the name of spirituality and made a couple of pimps and perverts wealthy running around talking about Jesus. Buying them planes and cars and everything and act like they did the creator a favor. They're frauds, and the people that support is a fraud. Get over it. Now we're paying the price for it. Thank you very much. Now you can decide what you want to do. You want to keep on playing because guess what? The issue is now now nature ain't playing with you. Nature is cleansing cleansing up. Now you can we can fake each other and act like we holy roly, but you can't fake Mother Nature because she don't play mom's in the house you may as well start cleaning up and stop faking you know how we fake them put stuff under the bed and all this stuff because mom i'm coming up and come up i'm going to beat your ass what are we doing <laughs> the day high stuff yeah never put any never put things in order no what do we do what do we do when mother nature gets ready I mean, Swept things I, under the bed. Right, because I said we did so put much. dirty clothes in the closet because she didn't come up. All right, now we have a grand reunion. Um, mom's cleaning up. People coming over. Now she coming upstairs for real. Right. Mm -hmm. So we've developed these habits of faking it, haven't we? Yes. This is what's happening in what we call the Aquarian age of I know. We've gotten so used to the um, false benefits, appearances, because remember these are appearances right. of Piscean age of belief. That is the age of the priesthood, power. That is his power. That is his power millennia of the dark priesthood. They have ruled the world. And you. But in you know, darkness they talk about themselves in the scripture and they call the scripture says the lord giveth and the lord taketh Thank away God. and so we've looked at this lord as some etheric spiritual exactly message. now you're um, talking the about feudal being, law. What it's, yeah but what we're really talking about is the feudal lords exactly. what you what now that you become accustomed to these things we're snatching them from you because we can now what have they been doing They've been taking our people who thought they were marrying in the, in the face of the creator with marriage certificates, and they were, what, probate instruments. As soon as you get sick or you can't work too good anymore or you pass this form, mm -hmm. your entire state goes into probate. 
all of your properties in probate even before you give up the form, which is why that new vehicle you got outside is registered to the state of Delaware. It's already in probate. Anything that happens to you, the state takes it, paid for or not, because it ain't damn paid for. The sooner we understand how things work, the sooner we'll stop cooperating with them. And like you said, leave that man alone. Render unto Caesar what is Caesar. But we say it, but we don't do it. And most of us don't intend to do it. They have vested themselves in their idea of security that they don't have. They themselves are the surety of the operations of the Sister Q Trust operations of the world global estate. They are the resource. And they're given a piece of paper and told them that that's money and they bought into it. It is a licensed voucher of private commercial paper for commercial trade against human energy life force output. What I just said is absolutely the truth. Now, and I know and you I know you're telling the truth. Now you know that I'm involved after listening to you for at least eight, almost nine years telling, you know pulling up a coin and saying that, you know, that uh, we should take as much of our fiat and convert it to gold and silver. And the reason why, it's two reasons why. This is a fact. It's what that represents, because they will not allow you to acquire enough private commercial paper to make the transfer to take your gold and silver back. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. What they will do is sell it's like say say for instance if someone goes and um tries to purchase multi billions of of, of of gold or coins if you go over three thousand two to three thousand get in that area they will list ten they will list ten thousand you do just two or three and i guarantee you that Whatever clerk you're dealing with will stop immediately and call the manager. And the manager will go on the back and call the IRS. And if you go over that, I guarantee you ain't getting shit. They ain't, they ain't giving it to you. I don't care what you say, what you think, you ain't getting it because it ain't your account. They The trap is they told you it was your account. That account is in law this is law not tied to you guys opinion an unsecured loan to the jesuits through the bench of the pope called the bank at any time they're in trouble that account they are first order on their account you're second that's why i'm trying to convert no i'm just telling you now yep. that's number one number but, two yeah okay. this is what's happening this is what's happening i'm telling you what's happening right now what's happening right now this, this that was, was going to be my point about what's, what's happening, happening right, right now. now. This is what's happening right now on the planet, Midgard. The credit windows have frozen. The trading windows have frozen. They're hiding it from the public by saying the virus is killing these businesses. They were dying before the virus. Right. The Sears virus been dying is an excuse to blame on, on them. Right. Number Number two. Uh, uh, number one, number two, anyone that knows anything about biology knows that any of these masks that they give anybody is inadequate to stop a real pandemic. That's number two. Um, number three, if that virus can jump 6,000 miles across the ocean from China, Wuhan, and jump and infect all these people here, six feet ain't going to do you no good. And so you get that over. <laughs> And the number six that they use is not accidental. How do they bury you? Six feet under. Humans are social beings. How do they alienate you from love and health? Because we're social beings, separate you six feet. Six, six, six. 
What do you need to understand that they're playing with your head? Now, now I took, I, I, I walked away for about what, 10 minutes while you were teaching. Mm -hmm. My phone was ringing. Mm -hmm. And I looked down, it was my, my, um, my mom, my stepmom. Mm -hmm. And I saw three calls. You know, I have a father and, and a sister yeah, yeah. in a nursing home. And it's my dad. Mm -hmm. My dad has been taken to uh, the hospital with a fever and he's like 88, 89. And um, so I said to her, I said, they, she said they, he has pneumonia, but he doesn't have COVID. Yeah. And I said, can I go see him? Can we go see him? No, we can't go see him. So, you know, I'm going to have to work. I'm going to have, I'm going to do Reiki. But see, yeah. not every, and you can do it. when I'm finished this, I'll be doing Reiki, but everybody yeah. doesn't have that ability. ability. So we are separated from our loved ones. But and you, at the time, when, maybe when they know how most, it connects. Absolutely. But everybody doesn't know that. Everybody doesn't know how to do that. And so that is one of the other reasons how, like you said, the so-called social, it's nothing social about the distancing. No. It's nothing social. It's every, it, it's very automaton. It's They're very waging plentiful. war on us absolutely. and blaming it on China. Absolutely. They're doing the Boston Tea Party in your face. But now the deal of it is, this is nothing. Let's talk about what's going on. Credit windows have frozen. Trade windows have frozen. The fake Jews continue to control the financial windows. The, the well, it's what it is. We just don't want to be. Yeah, well, we don't want yeah. the show to be. Well, it's what it is. I know. Gotta tell the truth. Because nature don't play. I know. Um, so the world is not buying their treasury bonds. So it's a matter of time that all the major malls are going to close because they can't re-up. Because everything is ship to shelf. Yep. It's no longer warehouse. Ship to shelf through SKUs. All right, digital SKUs, all right. which they've been using since the 30s. And they're telling people, these cryptocurrency is a new thing. They've been using it since the 30s. They just in turn the public going to it. The same thing with the cell phones since the 20s. Or before. And what, way before. That was their ancient Egypt. Right. Let's get over that. Let's get over that. But we're talking about the hybrid Europeans today. The game is up. For the world to survive, the economics of the world to survive, the nations of the earth who were once kingdoms, who agreed to this modern bullshit under the Spanish Inquisition, are now paying the price for helping to maintain the fraud. They're being forced into austerity programs and the people themselves are ready to lynch all of their leaders and the next one they're coming after is all the priesthood when they find out that they've been colluding and they're part of it. Would that also include um, the so-called continent of Africa that has been exactly. a part of the fraud that we came all came from there? That, that they know it's a fraud. They've been signifying to us forever. We haven't been catching but on. But they've been benefited from it because we go back there. That is the puppets, not the people. Not the, the people. puppets. I'm talking about the, the yeah. people in the puppets. Power. So the puppets. Okay. The puppets, the minions, the Roman Curia members. The people are ready to kill them literally. That's why. And. The way they, you know, they're starting to tell the and, truth. Well, the way they, the way they, they portray Africa. I heard the guy, you know, Grandmaster Jay, the, you know, one yeah. of the, but he was making some good points. You know, he's like, we, we get these pictures. Everybody's out over there, spear chucking and and big bellies, and you know, in the in the jungle, like depicted mm -hmm. in the recent video that everybody's movie that everybody's getting excited about because they did it. Mm -hmm. You know. Is my, more modern over there than here. We've been given the a same. Life. Let's look like let's look at this, and we'll talk with this in the future, but not right now. Yeah. Do you know that on your outlets, that's in your wall. Yeah. That they have a trick of wiring them that will drop your electric bills over fifty percent. 
you mean, who has over and over there now? No, that you can do now that they won't tell you about. No, I didn't know that. You should have oh, been done that. Why? Before. Why do you think <laughs> they want you to get a license from them to do it according to their code, so you can pay the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds? And guess who keeps supporting them? The people. Oh, I want to. I want to make sure I get a, a license to count and shit. And they're part of this. We can, and we we keep supporting Rome and then complaining about Rome. You know, it, it, we keep playing on trying to play both sides of the chessboard and keep losing. That's us. <laughs> we do. This served to. The, the, yeah, when you study our people, you know what we are. We are the supreme hypocrites of perfecting the art of trying to serve two masters and trying to figure out how to undo our failures. Because we really didn't believe that that was a fact. Serving God and trying to serve God and mammon. Huh? This is what we've been doing. This is the culture of our communities. Look at this. Churches, mosques, and synagogues. Multiple, every, what, for four or five blocks in all the poorest cities. Wealthy places and the police people run them doing good. Step off them glorious, expensive, mortgaged up to the hill buildings, and you see poverty, death, broken families, women struggling with children because their men is in jail or homophobic and every damn thing else. And we're sitting around talking about salvation and how much we prayed and how much taxes and tithes we gave to Reverend Pastor Pigfoot. To give Jesus his hand, knowing damn well he's going down to Bahamas with Burford Button, who sings with the choir, which they do every daggone year, and long stroking half of the brothers in the daggone choir. And everybody's talking about holy roly, and nobody's supposed to talk about this because it's the daggone truth. Now, when they stop the BS and start really getting spiritual, we can solve the problems, but the hypocrisy must stop. I don't think we need to go any further on that. Because the world knows it's all it's all hypocrisy. Well, you know, I've been I've right. been watching a lot of shows lately about gold and silver what's happening, gold is rose, gold and silver have risen like wow in the last few days, several days. And even but, then but it when, ain't true. No, because what the, 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 yeah, the, it's the, not the, a real rise. rise. That's a, there's a point. It's not so yeah, much still suppressing it. Yeah, well, yeah. Silver yeah. is like like undervalued. So still extremely extremely undervalued. So the cost that even that we get it at that is risen from twenty it's artificial three to twenty nine now is still way under. But even that, the point of what's happening right now with gold and silver has more to do with the showing the uh, the, the lack of value of the Federal Reserve notes See, than it is of the they're talking value. about the value of gold and silver it costs, instead of the devaluation, it's the devaluation of, of the, do the dollars the dollar. what they need to look at. And that's what I'm going to say. It is the that's devaluation. The of, not that the gold and silver is like... like all Its sudden, true value is being uncovered. And it's, it's been suppressed and it's still there suppressed. We go. But the dollar is... This is uh, the whole point. The, the economists say... That get it while you can because soon you ain't going to be able to get any at any price two that's cents. the point well the dollar is about and if you cents. got a silver coin in your pocket you can feed your family in an emergency that's the point i already know that these people will not be allowed to hear what i'm saying to I, you i'm trying to allowed to come accumulate enough private commercial federal reserve notes to accumulate enough gold or silver point is to sustain themselves. I know it'll never happen. This is what I know. In emergency, when they steal these people's accounts and they close down the ATMs and the banks, because this is what's going to happen. I'm telling you again. Credit market freeze froze up. Trade windows froze up. They still have control of the financial windows, not with money, but with artificial derivatives that they've been placing into the public as money that's being rejected by the world. They must continue to try to liquefy because if they do not liquefy, if one of these apparatuses collapse, it's going to go from the credit window to the trade window, to the ATM, then to the bank. Then the whole system collapse. They'll never recover it. 
They can't let that happen. So what you're going to have is hyperinflation, yeah. which means okay. the hyperinflation $15 means for a loaf of bread. which there you go, <laughs> and then that's going to be low. And a perfect example is the trap. Remember, on uh, uh, what six months or so ago, I sent that thing around when uh, I was saying, um, and they talk about the people, the natives are getting restless. We're gonna take their toilet paper and then spray them with viruses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you, ha you even have people doing videos with a guy standing on the corner like this, looking around, and a guy pulls up in the car and he sells them a roll of toilet paper as if it's a drug. You know what that message is? That's what we've been telling people for the last few years. Now, the toilet paper was a test. Mm -hmm. They doing that with toilet paper. What do you think is next? These people ain't paying attention that the signals are being shown to them. That's why you get the silver. You'll never accumulate enough, but get what you can because guess what? You're going, like Sutton Ross said when he went to Canada to get gas mm -hmm. and he put 40 notes on, on the desk and the gas station. We don't want that. Right. I was talking to a sister today, yesterday and she said, um, I'm not sure what it is. The island of St. Lucia, her husband is from St. Lucia, and she said they go back and forth all the time, and there's mm -hmm. always, I guess, the, the exchange windows mm -hmm. when you get there. Mm -hmm. She said a few years ago, they took down the, they took them down. They yeah. closed down the exchange windows. They don't, she said, they don't, and she said they used to say, you can't give us um, U.S. dollars that have, they would examine them real well, she said, to make sure there were no tears because the banks would give them trouble. She said, now they just take it like a, what if they do take it? But they've shut down trade with uh, the exchange windows and all of that because this is why they're talking. They're talking. You see them signifying. Why are they talking cashless society? What they're telling you, you need to pay attention. And they're already doing it in China. The, the Federal Reserve note is now worthless. But instead of telling you in one fell swoop, they're grooming to you, grooming to you before they overnight crash the system. Not that they want to crash it, they can't stop it. It's now out of their control. This is what people need to and understand. And this is the first time though. Apparently, fiat systems have they a, all, they a have lifespan. lifespan. Yeah, they have a and lifespan. And then they die. Right, so this isn't the this first This one has been maintained because the US Corporation Jesuits have maintained U.S. Army bases in 189 countries, and they have subverted the sovereignty of all the nations of the earth. They have gone to and fro the earth, devouring nations. Now that the nations are recognizing that the harlot has crabs, everybody wants to say they want partying with her. <laughs> That's what's happening. Get over it. And here's the other thing, you know, you, one would say, well, why would they want to try to, like, they're, what I understand is that they're trying to, the deep state or whoever you want to call them, the Vatican, is trying to turn America into a third world country. And someone said, well, why would they do that? Because this is America. Because they America got their fingers. America is the continent. They, We're right, they got their fingers and their hands everywhere. So this is just another one of their All right, Now let's look at this. So if they crash, you know. Let's look at this. Okay. What is the advantage the more, of them doing that? See, now, it is because it's a completion of the Spanish Inquisition. Destroying. Remember, when the question is asked, why would they do that? That's an assumption that people have from the training that they have been induced with since 1861, thinking that America, i.e., thinking that the U.S. is the country, <laughs> organic. It isn't, never was. So they're looking, what is their advantage? The advantage is that they had conquered and drained our resources. Now they're dropping the carcass. Duh. Got it. However, things have come into place to intervene with those operations. This is their dilemma. 
They didn't expect an the fight. intervention. The fight. And they didn't expect an awakening, but then they get they did because they wrote it in the They knew it was coming. They this is why they took over the period of years. They knew as astrologically that exactly. it was going to awaken. They said they call it in the Bible the great falling away. Now you <laughs> understand why so the so-called scholars and particularly the uh, so-called leaders, nobody talks about Noble Jawali. His real mission, we're not talking about this image that you see from the temple where they're doing salami baloney. We're not talking about that image. We're talking about what he really did. The reversion of a state that nobody talks about. The enforcement of the treaties via the constitution that nobody analyzes. They keep playing this worshipful game. That is not his mission. Never was. Everybody was in the church, so he went to the ones that were. Exactly. Like, Came to them as they saw, but he gave keys of the seven that unravels everything. The priesthood knew that it was only a matter of time that the seeds that were planted would take effect. Many who got the seeds didn't know what they have, even to this very day. And I'm not arguing on behalf. I just said it like I said it for years. They'll find out. Because guess what? They're going to lose everything. And those who won't let Rome go, he's going to devour them. He ain't giving them no security. It's not only is he not going to secure them, he's going to devour them. Both economically, socially, and in rationale, physically every day almost my phone pops up somebody in their 30s 40s maybe in the so-called entertainment field dies mysteriously lately they got insurance policies on all of them i'm gonna say every almost every let's look at this. if you 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 all who are listening you know we listen to jams right right why don't you just make a quick list of all of the Aboriginal Asiatic singers and sports figures whose music you sing right now and you never dawned on you that they're dead physically. But it also didn't dawn on you that all of them had multi-million dollar insurance policies on them that wasn't their family. It was the the persons who run the industries that got insurance policies on all of them. And when they are no longer useful, they discard them and steal their estates, including their intellectual property, all their songbooks, as you might see, all their poetry, their book work, and everything else. They're worth to them often more dead than alive. And people get so busy singing the songs, change is going to come. So they never stop and think that Sam Cooke was murdered. Right. Um, Sitting on the dock of the bay. Never think that he was murdered. Yeah. Sam and Dave. Yeah. Never think that they was murdered. Whitehead in Philly, never ain't no stopping us now. He was murdered. These people, Donnie has these the people, way. Go Donnie, on. it goes on and on. Yeah. Mike, yeah. Whitney, <laughs> um, soon as he started getting uh, power control, all of a sudden Luther got a uh, disease and high blood pressure and a whole bunch of other stuff. Barry White, right. Oh, uh, it goes on and on, and people so busy singing and partying, it they ain't paying attention. And then, soon as what Kobe started suing them for using Black Mama, Mamba, Mamba, all of a sudden this helicopter drop out the sky. These people do not understand that they're dealing with demons. Yeah, they give a name to Bet Wilson. Yeah, from from. Uh, and guess what? It's about the money. And it ain't the money you looking at. It ain't the money you're looking at. 
you know, are we in a We're hope- naive as hell, for starters, but continue. But are we in a hopeless no. situation? Doesn't need to be. So what, I, I, this is, where this, does it start? Does it start here? Within? Yes, this is what it is. This is the real deal. The people have been groomed for the last few centuries to say, Lord, Lord, Lord. And they have built many institutions to support that venue. But in truth, they were never sincere. They don't fear no Jesus, no God, no Allah, no Yahweh, etc. They fear Rome. Rome is the Negro God. They won't buy. They won't sell. They won't breathe. They won't braid hair. They won't move on the street without a license from Rome. And they will not challenge that because Rome is their God. But they use the Jesus game to soothe their hypocrisy. And then they sacrifice the next generation. Then they start doing marching and praying all over the place like assholes and fools to make them even more richer, complaining about their conditions. Um, When they render under Caesar what is Caesar. The deal of it is we've capitulated for so many generations that we actually have convinced ourselves of of weakness. So the people believe in Rome, they don't believe in themselves. Therefore, when challenged to really do something, everybody starts clamming up. Why? Because they see no out. Because they don't believe in themselves in the first place. Never damn did. So therefore, it's probably going to be a handful that survived this thing. And Mother Earth, in order to continue life, going to have to cleanse the Earth of those who will be following. And that includes those who keep on the system, following up the wrong. This is why the book says, if your right arm offend you, you better be prepared to cut it off or you're going to take the karmic response. That's what it's really mean. That means you keep sympathizing with these people that keep on playing these fake religious games with their fake spirituality, pretending to be spiritual while sacrificing the next generation, while really serving Constantine and Rome. Guess what? They're going to be exterminated by the same Romans that they keep on thinking is going to give them a pension. But they keep talking about, I love Jesus and shit. No, they're full of it. See, they can fool each other. The problem of it is, this is the deal. If they was really spiritual, they would recognize that the Korean lights don't allow it. But we've got so disconnected from the culture that we really don't believe it. We just say it. We repeat these things, but they don't really believe it. Somebody has put this question up. Like, I can't keep popping up like three or four times. So I'm going to just ask because we're, we're like uh, seven minutes to, from three hours so we to close and um who should be in the white house trump or wait, let me grab it who should wait, wait let me read it who should be in the white house trump or biden i just want your opinion and what would it mean to moore's when it comes i guess to federal reserve notes? this is what i'll say to you in reference to that a very short answer and you're gonna have to do some thinking morocco casablanca they made a movie out of it and they just told you. Washington, D.C., the White House. Morocco, Casablanca. I've told you enough. Casablanca. Casablanca is Moorish Latin, meaning White House. Morocco. So that. Yeah, if you've caught on yet, if you haven't caught on yet, we're back to the conversation. I just answered your question just a little deeper than they probably Ooh, expected. About who should be in there. Well, Casablanca is Morocco. Get it? <coughs> okay. These, neither one of them should be. All right. They're both alien. Uh, after, after or during this chaos, are we supposed to ascend to the fifth dimension? And regain ability. You're like, already doing like, it. Like telekinesis and telepathy. You're already in the process of doing it. Different people are ripening. I'll, I'll use that term. At different degrees. But you're all doing it. Remember we said about seven or eight years ago. It might have been a little more. 
when we uh, make reference to the people, they keep looking at their charts, individual charts of the beings mm -hmm. and measure themselves by the individual charts of the being. And I would remind every once in a while that they need to look at the greater wheel of destiny and that that what, the, destiny. Yeah, yeah. What, what the Aquarian lights represent. It is not a negligent, it's not to neglect your personal horoscope or the, or the refined analysis of those degrees of the orbs but to recognize that in the Aquarian light, all of the living beings are being swept like a big broom and it doesn't neglect or doesn't negate your navigation thoughts relative to your individual, as they may call it, our school, but recognize irregardless of any of them, there's a bigger broom that's sweeping them all, and you need to pay attention to it. That's what's happening on this planet. Yeah, something said that in 2012, what we thought was that, that was 2012 wasn't 2012. And that it wasn't. they say it wasn't 2012, now it's 2012. Others are saying in what we thought was 2012 that everybody died, so to speak, or and, and now went, you, ascended you must and went into another dimension. Uh, I mean, I don't let's know. look at it this way. I'm just telling you things very things you Let's look at this way. Let's look at it this way. Man is mind. I'll say that. Right. So it's your thing. and I hesitate to I hesitate to perpetrate um the mystification of human evolution. Uh, you're not going any damn place. You're changing your state of mind and you will change the conditions. You will recognize it as you evolve. You're already in them stages. It's not coming. You're already in the light. Now, what's, what's going to happen and what is happening, those who cannot stand the sun will be burned up. It's a purification and it's not necessarily going to be happy time for everybody. So don't be looking forward to it, although you don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. I'll put it that way. But what I don't do is promote the happy go lucky heavenly ascension or uh, misconception type thing. It's a cleansing, a purging, more like it. Uh, that's not to put a negative on it. It's just uh, to saying that Mother Nature is sick of our shit. Mm -hmm. Then it's more purging than, you know, oh, we're getting this spiritual development of the two to fifth dimension and shit. Uh, you get ready to get punched in the damn nose. <laughs> Strongly. Most of us. I was coming home. Oh, yeah, beautiful. And I thought to myself, mm -hmm. Mm. There's no COVID at the end of that rainbow. You got that, you got that right, Charles. Let me see if there are any more comments. But um, again, uh, uh, my point is, you know, oh, a good way to look at what I'm trying to get across tonight is when the Bible says money is the root of all evil. Or the love of money. Or the love of money. What it's really telling you is the, the fact of that they're loving something that's totally artificial and is not money, and they keep calling it money, which means they're in the pit. And they will be sacrificed willingly because they're consenting. Because remember, everything that the dark priesthood deal with is, is by consent. They get you to agree to something that they know is a lie and you know is a lie but you insist on calling it what it is not. That goes for the self and that goes for the instrumentality. And so they got the fiat. They've been told what it is and what it is not. And they still keep calling it money, don't they? Yeah. All right, so now everything's gonna be taken from them. They just made a contract. And with that, I'll say have a grand evening, you all. Well, we like to say thank you Grand Sheik for um, this insightful 
three hours. <laughs> um, also, um, by way of announcements, I would like to invite you all to tune in to, as you see going across the screen, office hours mm, with oh Dr. Yeah. G, which appears on, uh, which broadcasts on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern. And for the remainder of the month of August, we're calling mm. it Super Tuesday. And wow. I'm just going to put this ad up. We normally don't do that, mm. but I'm going to put the ad up because I want you all to just, I mean, all of this 900 and, and uh, 1100, I can't even read it. I think there's a, like 1100 and some people on here. So for the next three Tuesdays, and I, I kind of am impartial to office hours with Dr. Mm. D. It's becoming very popular. But for um, for the next three Tuesdays, my guests will be, we're calling it Super August Super Tuesdays. Next Tuesday, August 11th, I have Osir, Duke of Tears. Mm. Um, the following Tuesday, August 18th, I have his, his wife, his consort, this is Selena and mm -hmm. Selena Cordova L. And then the following Tuesday, August 25th, I have both Brother Asir and Sister Selena Cordova L oh, as great. my guests here. So that's six hours great. of the Duke of Tears and family. And a correcting and governmental concepts. Correct, yes. It's going to be awesome. Um, I, would, I would love for you to tune in and uh mark that down tuesday night 8 p.m to 10 p.m eastern the 11th the 18th mm -hmm. and the 25th i'd like to thank you so much for tuning in um we thank you for your support we appreciate you every last one of you whether you send us a dollar or you just send us your love we appreciate it it helps us to do what we do and as i tell you she gives his heart out to us and we need to love him back with our with our energy that we have you know so sending it to mickey d's or something crazy <laughs> let's support that those that are supporting us so thank you so much and um, um, one one instant wait a minute let me bring you back out let me bring you back on he has something else he wants to say come on in for those who uh, wonder why burger joints are so cheap, look up The Truth About the Food Industry by Rabbi Finkelstein. I repeat, The Truth About the Food Industry by Rabbi Finkelstein, and you'll understand that all of these people that you thought were your movie stars and celebrities and politicians have been eating your children for quite some time and drinking their blood. And they're so confident that these people are extreme knowing hypocrites that he's telling you to your face that he's been selling you your babies. And that never got flag on, on of course it YouTube is. You know why? Boss. You know why they didn't get sued? Because it's the damn truth. <laughs> wow. Well, well <laughs> wait, wait, will you just get up and walk away? Let me say goodbye to everybody. Hey, Serena. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're just going to go back to um, I'm go out with the screen. Thank you so much. Tune in to Office Hours with Dr. G. Tuesday, August 11th, 18th, and 25th. It is our August Super Tuesdays with Austere, Austere Duke of Tears, Empress Selena Cordova L and Austere and Selena Cordova L on the 25th. So please, please, please tell a friend, like our page. Please like it. Give us some thumbs up. Give us some love. I don't say that because I hear people saying that well, stuff like that. Liberation. I hear them saying like thumbs up, thumbs up. I hate that. But like our page. If you like what we're doing, please give us your likes and please share and please subscribe. Good night and great and peaceful rest for you tonight. Thank peace. you so much. Peace.